Hi, y'all. Hey, everybody. How are you doing tonight? Is my lighting dark? How am I looking? How's everything sounding? We doing all good? Ah, Able Sisters. Every time Able Sisters comes on, I feel like a real goddamn streamer. Okay, Barb contributing 10,000 points to the Lo-Fi Reading Stream Challenge. Okay, Queen Ship. Hello, Becky. My favorite sub. Hi, guys. Delusion, delusions of a Fox says I'm drinking a lavender iced coffee. That sounds so good. That sounds so good. Holy fuck. Hi, y'all. Wow, this is great. I'm so excited to be back with Confession Booth. So, you may have seen my message in the chat earlier, but if you would like to go uh, to do a little, a little confession and a VC with me, go on over to our Discord server, uh, and you will let them know in the text channel event chat. Um, if you forget how to do that, you can do the command, exclamation point, confession booth. Uh, <laughs> big man, sir, dude, redeemed. Please, sir, any spare subs? Any spare subs for poor, for poor little orphan boy? <laughs> any spare subs? Any primes? Drop your subs here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it also has cinnamon in it. God, that sounds really good. I have Kratom, but I'm halfway tempted to go make a cold brew. Um, also, thoughts on the new chat font? Thoughts? I think it's pretty cute. I don't know why this is loud in my ears holy shit <laughs> okay um i don't know why the little the things keep bouncing it's so cute like the little messages <laughs> this is delightful okay so i've been thinking about it and i think i'll finally start incorporating the email confessions so if there's a lull i think in the beginnings like while we're waiting for someone to be sent into the confession booth um I think I will I will be reading from some of the email submissions. I won't be showing the screen so I don't dox anybody, um, but I have a wide and fascinating selection picked out for you, which I, I'm very excited about. Um, yeah, the font is fucking huge. Let's, let's explore this together, my friends. Let's see how the fuck this works. Can I change that at all? Font settings, not so fucking big. Let me try 15. I think before it was like very li Oh, that might be better. How's that? Hold on. Send message. Send a message. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like commanding you around. <laughs> test, test, test. Is that too small? Is that too small? That may be too small. Tech support on stream, honestly. <laughs> Is that too small? God damn it. I'll just, okay. Okay. Maybe at some point I'll find a happy medium. Okay, uh, uh, I'll try 22. Beep, boop. Is that better? Is that better? Because I think that may be better. I like that, yeah? Okay, perfect. Thank you guys for helping me out as always. Um, I adore you very, very much. We are at 102 viewers. This is so exciting. Uh, yes, mustachio man. Every time you guys compliment uh, my mustache, I am filled with gender euphoria. Every time. It makes me so happy. Um, so I'm going to scoot on over to desktop view. No, wait, where am I? Confession booth. There we are. Um, I wonder if my timer's popping up. How's that looking? Yeah, okay, so that's still over there. Yeah, so mods, whenever you want to send someone in, you absolutely can do it. Oh, perfect. Barb says we're ready when you are. Um, yeah, go go ahead. Send in the clowns. Send in the fucking clowns. I'm so excited. <laughs> I also want to try and pull up the emails on my phone so I won't have to keep switching windows. But I can't remember if I'm logged in on here. Oh, I am. <laughs> oh, perfect. This is great. I'm so excited. Um, I see that somebody is in our booth. I'm not getting any audio from you, my friend. Are you able to hear me? I see the green box around your name, but I'm not hearing you. Hmm. I don't know if that's on my end. Yeah, Barb, I can't hear you. Okay, so it's probably on my end. Give me a sec. That's weird. That's really weird, isn't it? Output. Yeti. Input. Yeti. Okay, should be working. How am I, how am I sounding? I am still not getting you. What the fuck is happening? Hmm.
Yeah, Barb, I'm still not hearing you either. This is weird as hell. Hmm. Well, now I just look like a fucking fool. Should be doing the right thing. Okay, I'm gonna try. See, he's like. There we go. Hi. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> Finally, God. Yeah, that was on me. I should have tested that beforehand, that but was I was on a call earlier. Hi, Barb. <laughs> Perfect. Um, Great. Hi, Peanut. How are you doing? I'm alive. There is so much that has happened since we've talked, it's not even funny. Okay, sick. I'll go ahead and start your timer. You got three minutes, my guy. Oh, okay. So, the last time we talked, I was talking about SpaghettiOs, right? Yeah. And then I went in this phase of, like, I got a job, and, like, everybody there is in a relationship, and I'm like, wow. Okay. I want that, and I don't get it because, his, like... My entire life, I've been told, wow, you're that one fat friend that no one's going to date. And I'm like, oh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> hmm. And then, like, I don't know. I'm a very nice person. Mm -hmm. Like, actually. Like, I'm a decent human. And, like, I think I portray that. And, like, yeah. um, but, like, I like someone from my work. But um, if I were to send you a photo, where would I do it? Um, I don't necessarily want to dox this person, so maybe don't. But can you give me a good? Oh no, it's just it's just an image that I sent them. It's nothing of like them. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Um. um here, send it in the uh, uh, event chat channel. Okay. I gotta find it. Um. But yeah, so like I person from work, I like asked to speak to them because I was like, yes, I'm gonna do this so well and then i accidentally sent them this photo <laughs> hold on y'all okay oh oh i can't show that on stream okay so i see the problem i'm gonna go ahead and delete that um that's fair okay um yeah they didn't mention it which i asked them not to and apologize but also hey king hey king hold on let's take it back let's take it back a sec <laughs> How did you accidentally send an image of a Doritos bag with slight, not slight, overt phallic imagery on it? How did you, how did that happen? How was this an accident? Um, um, I like went on the messages or like I went on my like text app, right? Cause I have an iPhone and I just thought, cause I saw blue bubbles. Oh, this is my friend, which is really bad. Um, and I just sent it. And then I looked up at the name and I was like, fuck, that's my, that's the dude I, like, am attracted to and also work with. So, like, two things. And then I was like, fuck. And so I said, didn't mean to send you that, sorry. <laughs> but then I've been going through this nightly period of, like, how oh, fuck, I really just want to date someone. Yeah. Like, I ain't even, like, like, I fall on the A spectrum, so it's pretty much, like, I just want someone. Yeah. I am fucking, like, tired of this single shit i'm going on 17 years fuck i mean that's understandable like i mean like a lot of people are really like hardwired for like that like desire for like romance or connection and like it can feel really isolating whenever you're not able to get that um i went through that a lot um in middle and high school especially um don't rush anything if it's gonna okay yeah and like i would say I have panic attacks thinking about asking people out like okay not? so we're i don't think you're gonna go not. into anything we're without like th considering it first so i trust your judgment in that regard when i ask them out and when they say yes i'm gonna shit myself okay like, good hey, yeah <laughs> um i'm gonna shit myself and be like do you know what you're getting into yeah so you know me yeah i'm fucking chaos your timer went off but i would caution you to maybe check what you're sending your crush in, in advance <laughs> next time yeah uh maybe try or initiating anybody. more conversations with them i think that's probably the easiest yeah. way to go about this um we did have a conversation about why some bald people have shiny heads okay t yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's an interesting conversation. Well, like, it was... Because, like, some of them have shiny heads and some of them don't. I also, guess... what's up with bald people and sunburns? Like, 
what happens when you get one on there? King, this was not the if subject you of your confession. I will disconnect you. <laughs> As always, I wish you love and light, and a delight speaking Thank to you, you as always. And I wish you great luck with yeah. your with your crush in the future. Thank you. I will talk to you again sometime. Have a great night. You too. Bye. Bye. I can't get my little timer to work properly. Give me a sec before sending the next person in. Okay, Barb. Um, why did it do this? Why would you do me like this? I may just end up leaving it like that. Okay. Ba -da 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 -ba. Okay. Got my little set up there. Great. Great. Okay. You know, YouTube like really hates me today. Please, I'm begging you. Please pause. Okay. <laughs> Is it okay to roast people's confessions or should we be supportive? You can do a gentle roast. I will permit a gentle roast. I will. I, I okay, yeah. Don't don't be mean. Don't be like overtly rude, but a, a, a gentle a gentle jest. I will allow. Um Yeah, I'm good now. You can if you're too harsh, I'll just delete your comment. Yeah, shy gets it. Uh yeah, so I, I, I trust you all to be decent people about it, but. Hello there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start your timer real quick. And what would you like to confess? I'm also not getting audio from you. Hold on. Let me turn yours up. Can you hear me? I am not getting anything from you. Hmm. Okay, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. Okay, um, so I'm Asia, pronouns are they, them, and I broke, I broke my wrist, uh, rollerblading, and I didn't know how to rollerblade. Oh, shit. I scraped off, I scraped off a huge piece of my st skin on my stomach. Oh. And I nearly got arrested in the same week. Okay. Do you want to unpack the arrest for me? <laughs> okay, so there was this racist white lady in my neighborhood, and she saw I was black mm -hmm. on a skateboard. And she tried to arrest me for... She tried to get me arrested for fighting. In reality, I was just hanging out with my little sister. Okay, yeah, fuck that old bitch. <laughs> yeah, my, my, mo my mom got in her face about it. But after that... I was skateboarding, I tripped over a rock, and went, like, three feet in the air. Oh, God. Oh, oh no. I just, I just imagined that. Oh. Oh, God, no. That Ma sounds fucking scar awful. Down, ma yeah, massive scar down my side. Um, there, I have a Naruto shirt that's covered in blood from that. That's like, metal as hell, my guy. <laughs> yeah. Shit. Yes. In fucking metal. Then, then I started learning how to rollerblade. I didn't know how. Oh my god. And I didn't learn how to stop. So, hey, I was hey. Going down this hill in my neighborhood. Hey, my friend. <laughs> I see that you're making a pattern <laughs> of, of, of trying out new rolly hobbies. <laughs> Maybe with not enough learning time first, and then getting horribly injured. Okay, so, the skateboarding one, I was actually well experienced with a skateboard. It was just a it was just a very poorly placed rock. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, okay. Hmm. I, I honestly listen, I, I still feel like given that first accident, I feel like you would have maybe learned to break before going down a steep hill on rollerblades. Um, although maybe I should maybe I should be providing sympathy rather than rather than criticism in this case. Oh no, I was very dumb. Okay, I'm glad that you agree. <laughs> so, so, I spent, so after that, I spent three months telling everyone it was because I was cool and going super fast. It was way more gnarly than it actually was. I was going super slow and I tripped. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, listen, I say lie about it all you need to to the people in your life. 
Um, however, you did just add yourself to like 130 people, so I hope that none of them know you IRL, or else they're gonna rock your shit. Like they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna ruin your your scre your, your 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 reputation, all your cred. So I mean, luckily, 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 no, luckily, no one in my vicinity actually is on this server, so okay, lucky me, I guess. Yeah. Well, okay, your timer just hit zero, but Christ, I wish it wouldn't flash like that. I just thought about that potentially being an epilepsy problem. I will change that. Okay, so I got distracted. Um, uh, I do wish you love and light and maybe, maybe some things with fewer wheels or maybe more practice on things with wheels in the future. Um, but it was a delight to talk to you. <laughs> hey, thank you, Stevie. You're Bye. welcome. Bye. Y'all, let's find a better timer, because I just realized that that one's like, it gets really flashy at the end, and it did not even occur to me how dangerous that could be, and I wish I'd thought about that earlier. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. See, a bike, I mean, I, I feel like it could still be dangerous, but I feel like it's better. I still feel like that is better. Um, all these look stupid, and I hate them. I like this. Let's go with the gay one. Also, how can I turn off autoplay? Don't do that. Okay, perfect. All right, we can boogie. Oh, this one's really cool. Hello there. Hi. Hi. What would you like to confess to us today? Um, okay. So, basically, me and one of my best friends who we are mainly friends because my sister is engaged to her okay he loves to just bully me for like and it's not even like a joking bully a lot of times it's like oh. a genuinely like hurtful like type mm -hmm. of thing because i mean sometimes we'll just like mess around like we'll we'll be teenagers we'll mess around like i don't my goals stuff like that yeah and you know how it is constantly like, no matter how I look, if I have makeup on or not, she always will say, oh, no, the reason why you make people skip us or you make people run away is because the way you look, the way you act, and the stuff that you watch. Fuck that. Because like, me, personally, I have more of, like, the um, al alternative uh, type of style, so, like, a Fuck lot yeah. of black and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And she loves to just pick on me for it. That is so fucking annoying. So this definitely does not sound like a friend. Yeah, all the comments are saying, fuck that guy, cut them from your life, punch them in the face, um, square them up. Thoughts? <laughs> Thoughts on these options? Um, I, I honestly could if I would, but again, A, she is strong oh. and has a whole family that no matter how young I am will gladly beat me. Um... <sighs> But, again, she's also engaged to my sister, so she lives with us. Okay. Is, like, I forgot that connection. And the, yeah, and the mm. only, like, person in my, like, house that doesn't, you know, call me lazy or just, like, come at me for, like, every little thing that I do is my other friend, and her name is, his name is Ray, mm. and he moved in, like, not that long ago, and me and him are, like, the closest, and we haven't even like been around each other for like as long as like him and erica have mm -hmm. but it's it's always mm -hmm. like the oh i have that person to sometimes back me up but then i still have you know like three other people behind the other person that yeah. will gladly make fun of me mm. that fucking sucks because it's like very much like an everyone's against you except for like this one person situation which sucks shit and that's not fair and you shouldn't have to deal with that is there any way to minimize contact with this person as much as you can? I know that you said you live in the same household, but you also mentioned like spending time together, like going on Omegle together. Is it possible to sort of cut down on that one-on-one -on -one time? Because it sounds like she doesn't enjoy spending time with you. Like, if she's being this cruel, like all the fucking time, I don't really understand how she keeps like, like initiating these one-on-one -on -one hangouts. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's hmm. kind of because me and her, when we aren't fighting or, like, when we're actually just, like, cool with each other, mm -hmm. we can both, like, sit in my room for hours and hours and just talk. And I okay. normally help because her and my sister have a kid. 
And so normally I'm also helping a lot with the baby. Mm -hmm. So normally there's no like, and like when I do just try to like stay in my room, kind of stay away from people. Yeah. I get screamed at, I get called lazy. Okay. And so it's like a lot of times in this, in my house, there's no winning because my mom's always at work. Mm -hmm. So she, and then a lot of times the, it's going to be two people against one, yeah. like my sister and her against one. Mm -hmm. And so normally she believes them because they're also both 19. So okay. she normally will go like, oh, uh, basically adults, I'll just take their side because you're probably doing something wrong. Yeah. Okay. You mentioned that like whenever you are getting along, you're able to just kind of sit and talk for hours. I, what I would hope, obviously I do not know if this is going to be the case. I would hope that you would be able to sort of start a conversation about this, like open up a dialogue, like let her know, like you're probably joking, like give her the benefit of the doubt up front. Like, Hey, I know you're probably joking about like my style and like what's wrong with me or like whatever but like it like legitimately fucking sucks like i do not enjoy it in the slightest i feel like it's messing with our relationship and it's causing like an uncomfortable dynamic would you be okay not doing that so much and if she causes like a big fucking stink about it you're probably gonna have to go like again as no contact as you can uh even if you are in the same house so that honestly may include even like those good like calm conversations because like the thing with like kind of abusive people is that like the reason you keep going back to them is because sometimes they are good to you and they are nice to you and they are giving like what you want out of that relationship but then that switch flips and suddenly you're being hurt over and over again so i don't know how much it's worth putting yourself through all that so i say try to start a conversation but if that doesn't work out kind of kind of nip that as much as you can okay yeah, your timer went off a while ago, so I'm sorry for dragging that out. But uh, I do wish you love and light and a lot of luck in this case. Um, I hope that you are able to open up a conversation about it, and I hope that she isn't shitty about it. Um, but if she is, uh, you are free to make lots of friends in the Discord server. We have a Minecraft server now, which is pretty pog. Um, so you got us, if nothing else. Got it. Have a great night, okay? Bye. Stay safe. You too. Bye. Bye. I like this timer so much. No, honestly, this does end up being life advice, boo. <laughs> Hello to my new friend, I Hate Super Straights, who watches my TikTok. I appreciate you very much. Hello there, new confessor. Oh, they dipped. <laughs> Gay timer is the only timer I know. Um... Hello there, my friend. Okay, I, I should stop greeting them. I waited a second. I thought... Yeah. <laughs> Doing my goddamn best. Thank you for redeeming voice check. I think that my voice has dropped more. <laughs> like. Like, I don't know how, like, how recently, but I, I just feel like it's deeper than it had been before. Hello, my friend. Hello. Hi. Hold on. I'm going to bump up your volume real quick. Give me a sec. Ba, ba, ba. There we go. Give me a, give me a one, two, three. One, two, three. Perfect. There we go. What would you like to confess to us? So this is basically how I figured out I wasn't straight. Hell yeah. Give it to me. Okay. So I kind of realized it with my whole friend group in like middle school. And I was just straight up just like, yeah, every, not, no one in that friend group was straight. And I Love was like, that. hmm. <laughs> okay. I'm like, hmm. And um, as I... As I like, you know, just like figured stuff out, I was like, huh, maybe I'm bi. And then I accidentally came out to my parents. <laughs> okay. Accidentally? It wasn't intentional. I wanted to help out with the community pride. <laughs> oh, thing. okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. And I was kind of dumb to not realize that would kind of raise a red flag. Okay. Um, <laughs> and then um, as I got into high school, I was like, hmm pan <laughs> okay and so uh, i was like oh yeah and i'm like pan and everything but my parents were kind of like you know straight towards more more of like the straight kind of line of thinking my mom like, did that she was like but you can choose boys like will you shut the fuck up <laughs> yeah she made she made me read an article about <laughs> how uh p kids are being pressured into identifying with a sexuality other than straight. Wait, 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 wait. Friend. Was the title of the article bisexual chic? 
I think so. That's what my mom made me read. <laughs> and it was about how girls are girls are kissing other girls in the hallway at school to be cool. And I'm like, will you shut yeah. the fuck up? Oh my god, I can't believe we had the same upbringing. Okay. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt. That was thrilling. Continue. <laughs> relatively like i think i subconsciously like kind of grasped onto what they were saying mm, gotcha because i got a boyfriend <laughs> ah okay mm. I, I got a boyfriend and i dated him for like a year and i was like i'm not really attracted to you <laughs> yeah yeah and then we broke mm. up well he broke up with me mm -hmm. and then i just kind of was like there talk like talking to my friends i was like hmm women <laughs> Women. <laughs> Women. <laughs> and I'm like, oh shoot. I'm like, I'm, I'm going to have to like come out to my parents for a third time. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. I, don't, I also don't think my dad's very like perceptive that I'm not straight. Yeah. Just like, hmm. I think it, he's like in denial, but I'm like, hmm. You know, I'll get you there someday. Honestly, I don't even know if it matters. Like, honestly, after a certain point, if, like, your family or your parents make, like, such a big stink about it, it's not worth it. <laughs> and, like, they'll yeah. they'll realize eventually. Like, at some point, they've got to fucking realize. If you date a girl, like, what, what are they going to do? Pretend you're not? Like, come on. True. So, here's hoping that he'll catch on, that it'll be positive. Or at least not negative. At the very least, not negative. Um... Yeah. I love that we had apparently the exact same high school experience. Um, your timer did just go off, but um, we're twinning. We're twinning. Um, twinning. <laughs> uh, so I'm very excited for you. I hope that you're able to, to live confidently in your sexuality. Uh, of course, I wish you only love and light and lesbianism. Um, and I hope you have a great yes. night. <laughs> Thank you, Stevie. You're welcome. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Women, you know the fucking screen cap from Little Women of Joe Mart? <laughs> Women. That's all I could think. I'd always use gender neutral partner or significant other until I came out. Yeah. Yeah. I cannot get my hair to stay back. We just got this little guy in the front. My mom wants me to date a girl so bad, but I'm talking to a guy right now. Good for you. Good for you, Sky. I say do what you fucking want. Where'd my music go? Where'd the music go? Ah. Oh. There it is. <laughs> I can't tell if the music is too low, so let me know if you can hear it. Hello there, new confessor. Not exactly now. Hold on. I, I I have Discord really small in the corner. Okay, there we go. Hello. What would you like to confess? It's an update to a previous one. Hit me with it. Also, give the new people a refresher. Um, I, the first one was uh, me talking about how I saw a this very pretty girl in a in 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 a military uniform. Wait, a JRTC uniform. Yes, I remember this. And I was just completely enchanted and spellbound by her. Oh, God bless. Anyway, this is the update. Okay. She I sit next to her in math class now. Okay. The level of the level of beauty that she presents. Uh, Let's just say that Aphrodite did such a great job with her. Ah, uh, God bless. She does. She's so pretty without makeup, and also, and also she wore fish fishnet tight. Wait, fishnet. Wait, fishnet tights and a leather jacket today. Fuck yeah. Every one of her looks is on point. Women. <laughs> That's Women. so good. So the update is that you're sitting together in math now. Yeah, and... But are you gonna will, make a move? I We've been talking a little bit more. Okay, great step. Um, uh, I'll try taking some more steps with it. Mm -hmm. But I think she might drop my grade in math class by a little. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I can't stop staring into her eyes. And Wait, I just remembered that... Hold on, go ahead, sorry. She gives me all of the unnecessary feelings. That's so cute. That's very good. You saying that it's bringing your geography, uh, not fucking, your math grade down. It reminded me that in ninth grade, I pulled a C in uh, fucking geography, not geography. Is that the math one or is that the earth one? Whatever the shitty, 
whatever this shitty math one is. I pulled geometry? a geometry. Oh my god, I feel so fucking slow. Thank you. I pulled a C in geometry because the guy I had a crush on, uh, like he was in our friend group and we would all eat lunch together. And geometry was right after lunch, but I'd always be sad at lunch because he had a crush on one of my other friends. So then I would go sit in geometry and I would go be sad about the fact that he didn't like me back. And I never paid attention and I pulled a C. So that's was very it familiar. Crush, was it a crush, gender, and Greer both? Um, at the time it was a crush. I did actually end up dating him later, like twice, and then we broke up, and now I'm, now I'm trans. So, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> yeah, no, Cheyenne remembers this. My poor mod. <laughs> um, but I'm really glad that you're finally sitting next to your crush, and that itself is going to give you a lot more opportunities to just, like, make little asides in class and, like, chat together real casually. Um... You could do study dates. That's a good idea. That's a slick move. You can spend time with them outside of school. You can you can get 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 coffee together. A classic bait and switch. Very much so. Except, listen, it doesn't even need to be a bait and switch in this case. You can go actually study together, but that alone, hanging out together outside of school, is already going to give you more time to to like get maybe to know like each other. Online, maybe like an online Discord study. So study session maybe yes that's a great idea i think that's a very good idea um and i challenge you um to have that be your next update whenever you join confession booth um next time you join i would very much like to hear that you've had uh, a study date or two you don't necessarily need to be dating i'm not gonna put that much pressure on you but just just have a study date something as little as that yeah maybe that might happen well, unfortunately, it can't be a maybe because if you come back on confession booth, I will demand it. And if you say you've been a coward and you have not done so, I will disconnect you. <laughs> so just so you know, that is the condition upon which okay. you will be entering the confession booth next time. I am a dictator okay. and I'm not a benevolent one. However, I do wish you love and light um, and as much uh, as many study dates as you please. <laughs> I wish you I wish you love and light as well. Good luck on usurping the titty committee period thank you so much have a great night have a great night as well bye bye barb thank you for the bits barb you're being so nice to me tonight you're doing points you're doing bits queen shit honestly i hope i wasn't too mean to them <laughs> of course in retrospect i'm like was that too mean <laughs> fucking hell thank you for redeeming the voice check my friend Becky says, you can be anything. Don't be a coward. Honestly, you said it right. You said it right. Um, I've been approved and I want to confess. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I'm so excited. Hello there, new confessor. Hello? Hello. Yeah, I'm going to bump your volume up a little bit if I can. Give me a one, two, three. Hello, one, two, three. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to start your timer. What would you like to confess to us today? Um, so, I don't know if you remember me, but I am the person who confessed that I live in a conservative town and I basically lied to my friends about who I had a crush on to protect the fact that I'm gay. Yes, okay. Um, so, I've officially figured out that I am a book lover and all things bookish, I, that is me. Mm -hmm. So, I have discovered that my standards are so high to the point where any boyfriend that I ever get Very familiar. is most likely... <laughs> never going to meet the standards that I have of my fictional book boyfriend. Yeah. And that is a problem. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is. Uh, and so, there is my confession, pretty much. Discuss. <laughs> okay, so... God, that's so familiar. Um, I don't know the, the context of your your avid reading, but for me as a kid, it was... It was uh, a coping mechanism, which I did not know <laughs> was a coping um, mechanism until adulthood. Yeah. So yep, that would be me. Yeah. So it, it it very much does give you some unrealistic expectations. Um, for me, well, the difference here is that I I did like I had a Pinterest board of men I had a crush yeah. on, and it was very much built on like absolute fucking perfection. Um, <laughs> but. They yeah. did all share a lot of common physical attributes that, you know, eventually uh, uh, one testosterone shot later, I realized, oh, it was gender envy. Uh, and <laughs> I was just trans the whole time. And then for a while, yeah. I wasn't even sure if I liked men. I think I did also like them, you know, up for debate. Who's to say? But 
So the problem is that I don't quite know how to how to reconcile the unrealistic fictional crush uh, uh, to your situation because for me it turned out to just be like like unachievable like gender envy gender lust kind of situation. So well, I, <sighs> I did recently come out to myself as a he they. Okay. So do you think it's something like that? Are you kind of crafting, like, the man of your dreams or the man you want to be? Um, sort of both. T, I okay. Think possibly. Um, but I just, I don't know how to cope most of the time with my issues in my head. So half sure. the time I escape into books as a form of escapism. No, absolutely understandable. Lovely. Yeah. Also, I want to make it clear, I'm not, I don't want to, like, <laughs> I'm not, like, this has to be gender envy. I'm just like spitballing here, so feel free to shoot it down. No, you're um, okay. You're okay. Yeah, I mean, trauma, trauma me doing that, make it some funny fucking uh, coping mechanisms might end up morphing into like, just like internet culture in general. And now I'm like illiterate because I can't pay yeah. attention to books. So honestly, I envy you like for being yeah. grown and like being able to, to focus on a fucking book. What are you reading lately? <laughs> Um, currently, I'm going through the Shadowhunters Chronicles. Nice. So, those men in that in those books are just making me, and the fact that they're all in relationships is just making me envy them. And I'm just like, why can't my single ass have that? I am I am noting that title you said it was the Shadowhunters. Yeah. Gotcha. By, Shadow by Cassandra Clare. Of course, it's by Cassandra. With a name like that, I should have guessed it was fucking Cassandra Clare. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, okay, I have written that down. Um, your timer just went off, but I wish you love and light. Um, and honestly, you've been a delight to talk to, so I hope you have a very, very good night. You too, Stevie. Bye. Bye. Magnus Bane can get it. <laughs> was Stevie the Tumblr sexy man? Obviously I was. Listen, you can take one look at the fucking Monster Fucker series, you could tell I was into Tumblr sexy men. I think I actually made a video referencing them at one point. It was the thing about, like, Bill Cipher's, like, canon human form uh, that Alex Hirsch designed. I was I was very much into Tumblr sexy man culture. I did uh, have a crush on... Oh, hello! <gasps> we have a confess... Oh, they left. I did have a crush on Alistair. Alistair? Alist oh my god, I can't say his fucking name. The one from Hasbin, the radio demon. And Bill Cipher. And later kind of sans, but maybe not as much as I should have been given the Tumblr culture. Never got into the Onesler. However, Sexy Onesler is on my list of potential Halloween costumes. Let's take a look at my list of potential Halloween costumes. They're all sexy version things, versions of things that shouldn't be sexy. Yeah, so the list is Sexy Onesler, Sexy Ronald McDonald, and Sexy Bowser. Hey, can we get a poll? <laughs> can we get a poll up for what I should be for Halloween? <laughs> hey, mods, let's run a poll on whether I should be... The Onesler, Bowser, or Ronald McDonald for Halloween. All sexies. All sexies. I was obsessed with Tumblr from 2012 to 2017. I call it character development. <laughs> Thank you for the bits, Becky. Thank you, Corpse Danny. I'm sorry. I shall take the hydration. Oh, I had the fattest fucking crush on Benedict Cumberbatch. And David Tennant and Matt Smith. Although not as much Matt Smith. I actually, I was a bigger fan of David Tennant's Doctor. Um, oh, I love him so much. I'm gonna, hold on, I'll run the poll. I don't think that I gave y'all the option to do so in the in the commands. Um, have I gotten a ping? Where's my ping? Where'd it go? I saw a notification and it like immediately disappeared. Oh, I got pinged by, by someone else. Okay. Um, what was I going to look up? Why so many stories of unrequited love? Uh, that seems to be a problem in the, in the homosexual community. So, beyond that, don't quite have an answer for you. I'm going to go to stream manager. Stevie. Hello. Um, what's your, what were your poll options? Uh, sexy Ronald McDonald, sexy Wensler, and sexy Bowser. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Barb, what do you think? Okay, Barb left. Barb left, but I was going to ask what she thinks. Excuse me, God. Hi, love. I'm about to do makeup, and I need ideas. Got any for me? Uh, something Sexy Phoenix inspired. Sexy Wunsler, because I hate you. <laughs> Fuckhead. <laughs> um, I think you should do something Phoenix inspired. 
I'm feeling like warm tones, fire tones. Um, is it requited? It's one of those words I only ever read growing up. I don't know. Hello there. I'm gonna bump your volume up just in case. Can you hear me? I'm not getting any audio from you right now. Hello. Hello. I would just like to say, um, I've seen uh, you out and about in the server, and you seem very sweet. I've just seen you always being very, very kind to other people. I just wanted to say that I appreciate Aww. that. Thank you. That's very sweet. What would you like to confess to us? Um, this isn't really about unrequited love. This that's is more just that's okay. Dumb. Let's get some variety in there. Tell me. Um, I once, on a dare, bit into a wheel of wax. Play uh, fragranced wax. Whoa! That's so much worse than I thought it would be. Yes. Oh, I thought it would be like like the cheese wax you get from like Baby Bell wheels or something. Hey, care to explain the context for that? Um, we were on call, and I had the, I had a wax melter, which makes them into like wheels. And I, it was orange, and it looked kind of like cheese. And I showed it to my friends. Oh, my God. And my boyfriend said, I was like, I kind of want to bite it. And my boyfriend said, bet. And without a second thought, I bit into it. No. Okay. <laughs> Give me a flavor profile. Give me a flavor profile as if you were describing, like, a fancy wine. Like, it's giving me okay. notes of, like. Okay. First off, the texture was interesting. Okay. I wouldn't recommend it it kind of like flaked a little oh. bit surprisingly somehow that's not what i would expect like like those like soap I cutting would... videos yeah yeah it oh. like 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 when you they cut it straight down the middle mm -hmm. it was like that i would expect it to be chewy so that's good to know yeah no not chewy at all um the first thing i tasted was sharp Just okay pain second okay got in my throat Oh, oh no! Um, surprising. It smelled like mango, so it kind of tasted like mango. Interesting. I mean, I guess that makes sense because like smell and taste receptors yeah. connected. Okay. So sharp, painful mango. Yes. Okay. What any a great Saturday night. Any chalkiness? Because I feel like somehow I'm, I'm I'm imagining chalkiness. It okay. So there was like a layer of. Like almost dust type on top. Okay. Ew. So a little bit of like not chalky, but kind of dusty. Gotcha. Interesting. Oh, you know, I really love. I really love this weird fucking conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad. I love that. Okay. I feel like I should probably look up whether that's like toxic, a choking hazard, and I oh, suspect no, it's, it's all of them. Oh, it's 100% toxic. Do not bite wax. Great. It's hey, guys. Flavored is not good. Hey, guys. Don't bite wax. Hey, Twitch gods, please don't ban me. I'm not encouraging that anybody eat wax <laughs> or any non-edible toxic substances. Don't to be go fair, do that. I did get really sick afterwards, so I don't think it got like in my system. <laughs> okay. Someone did ask if the wax melted in your mouth. No, it did not because it wasn't like soft wax. It was like full hard wax. Ew. Ew. Yeah, I, no. It like very good. much like biting into a candle then. Ugh. Yes, it, it's candle wax. I don't like that very much. I, I mean, I'm impressed with your dedication to the bit, however. I should clarify that. I am impressed with that. I actually didn't even think. Like there wasn't a thought in my head of, oh, I'm going to bite into this and it's going to be funny. My boyfriend said bet and I went all right and did. Christ God. That's very good. I, I hope that you always act with that level of confidence. Your timer just ran out, but this has been delightful and horrible. Um, and I do, of course, only wish you love and light in the future. And I hope you have a great night. You too. Bye. Bye. Everything's edible. Just not everything's digestible. <laughs> you fucking fools. I used to eat weird shit too. I used to eat the fake rhinestones off of pants out of spite. So my mom would buy me boy pants. What the fuck? <laughs> Christ God. Y'all are bonkers and fucking yonkers. Um, hello there, new confessor. I'm not Hi. Hello there. What would you like to confess to us today? So I am 30. I'm probably one of the oldest people in Hell this yeah. chat. You're the age of my, uh, my older sister. Hell yeah. Um... My wife and I have been married for about two years. Yeah! Hell yeah. 
We've been together for over 10. Oh, that's lovely. Uh, we are storybook. We knew each other in kindergarten. God, that's so cute. We went to Girl Scouts together whole nine yards. That's um, so good. I'm coming to the realization that I'm asexual. Okay. I've never enjoyed sex with her. Gotcha. Okay. I have no clear how to tell her. Ooh, that's a doozy. That's a real doozy. Yeah. I'm afraid, yeah, like... Hmm. Yeah, that could kind of, like, destroy our entire marriage. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I wonder... Has she ever expressed any... Like... Hmm... I'm assuming, like, hopefully, as a as a fellow LGBTQ, I hope that she would be accepting of asexuals, like, in the community, sort of generally. Yeah. Okay. I it's just... Hope. It's just, yeah. like, it's one you, of those things of, like, I've been faking it for ten years, and I don't ooh. know how, she, yeah. how she's gonna take that. Yeah. Like, I hope yeah. she doesn't take that as, like, an offensive thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's, like, oh, no. it's a really delicate situation. It's a really, really delicate situation. Man. It's been yeah. so long. Hmm. Yeah. I, hmm. I'm hoping that she would take this more as like, because I mean, to be fair, you didn't know you were ace. It's not like, no, it's not like you, you have like been intentionally keeping up a facade or anything. It's not like you want to like keep it a secret. Like, of course you want to be truthful with your wife and like, they're the person you love the most in the world. Like, of course, that's something you want. So what I'm, what I'm hoping is that if you initiate that conversation, that she'd be able to, to recognize that. Because I trust that she's, she knows your intentions and knows that you love her either way. And I think that's probably going to end up being a really important thing to highlight if you do end up coming out to her. That, like, you have still loved, like being married to her and that you are still in love with her it's just that it may look a little bit different because you're just now processing sort of what what romance means for you yeah and like i'm totally open to like the idea of like her having another partner to fulfill that need because mm. like i understand like yeah it's not it's not fair for me to ask her to also be ace yeah so it's like i'm open to the idea of you having another partner mm-hmm and us being more of an open relationship. I really respect but you for that, honestly. Yeah. Like, but this is something I can't keep doing. Yeah. I think that's a good plan. I, I, I do think that's, like, a solid plan if you're also able to, like, let her know that, like, you don't expect her to, like, stay, like, the way things are or anything like that. That, like, if she would like an open relationship, that that's perfectly fine by you. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't expect her to be celibate. Good yeah, word. yeah. <laughs> I think, I mean, it sounds like the the main thing this is going to require, like, obviously, is, like, probably a lot of, like, gentleness and probably a lot of clarification. Because, like, up front, it, it, it may freak her out in terms of, like, oh, no, <laughs> my, like, I, I'm hoping she won't take it as, like, a my partner doesn't like me kind of thing. Because that's obviously not yeah. what it is. Like, you are, like, still in love with her. You still have loved a relationship with her. But... Mm -hmm. I, I'm hoping that she will be understanding enough of your intentions um, that she will be able to accept that. And it's it's probably going to take some hard conversations, and I don't necessarily know that it's going to all be sorted in one in one convo. But I do oh, hope I that know. she it's, is like. It's going to be interesting to explain to. We have a uh, three-year-old son. Gotcha. Okay. That we adopted, and like I'm like I don't even if we do do like an open relationship, it'd be like. So, how are we going to explain this to Nick? I've seen, <laughs> yeah, I've seen some interesting, like, discussions of that, like, before. And, like, to be fair, you're the one, like, teaching your kid. You said he's, like, three? Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you're the one teaching your child what the world is like and what their views are like. So, luckily, he's really at a point, a very, like, very, like, formative point in terms of, like, you being able to teach him about, like, polyamory or, like, this is, uh, like, this is mom's partner. Or, like, this is someone mom also likes to spend time with, like, etc. So yeah. it, it's almost better, honestly, that it, it, he's at, like, such a young age, like, such a formative point because you're able to, like, you're able to create, hmm, trying to figure out how to phrase, like, you're able to, like, start, like, 
acceptance now or like teaching him acceptance now um so honestly i don't necessarily know that that's gonna be like such a problem like my my younger niece is like seven and i i kind of explained to her what being trans is and like that i'm trans blah 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 i don't think she understood being non-binary so much but that's okay because i mean she's been raised by like christian military parents who are pretty Mm, they're they're fairly conservative um but i kind of explained it to her in terms of like sometimes i feel more like a boy and i feel more comfortable as a boy and she was like oh okay that makes sense and so she had no problem with being trans but when i mentioned my partner shiloh she immediately said but who's the boy in the relationship and who's the girl because she'd been taught homophobia (laughs) but transphobia (laughs) hadn't happened to come up in church yet and that was at like seven years old so yeah. It's, it's all well, taught. It's all taught. So I'm happy that you're... I'm honestly happy that, like, he's going to have parents from, like, such, like... Oh, I was raised Mormon. Ooh, that's a doozy. Oh, man. Oh, God. I'm completely opposite of everything my yeah. family stands for. That is familiar. Yeah. Boy, I bet that took some fucking dismantling, dude. Oh, God, it was horrible. Yeah. Um, even our wedding was a shit show. Okay. Yeah. Cause if you got like religious pressure from like family members, whenever you are obviously not interested it, yeah, it ends up being like, whose fucking wedding is it? You know? Yeah. yeah. I do. Of course. Wish you love and light and a lot of luck in this situation. Cause like, it's, it's probably not going to be easy and it's going to be some hard fucking conversations, but we are all rooting for you. I I don't know if you're also looking at the Twitch chat, but everyone is being so sweet in the chat. Lots of ace flags. Um, and I really hope that, like, at some point, this is something that, like, won't... Like, this, like, identity isn't, like, a source of stress for you, but that you're able to, like, take joy in it and take comfort in, like, understanding yourself better and knowing who you are. And, like, hopefully, like, there will be a lot of, like, joy and comfort, like, in this new normal that you're able to establish with your spouse. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Good mm-hmm. luck, and I hope you have a great night, okay? Mm-hmm. Bye. Bye. There we go. I wasn't sure how to disconnect them. Um, man, that is just, that's very familiar. Um, man, it's just like making me think about my parents, my past and all that. I mean, ah, hello. Hello, new confessor. Hi. Hello. What would you like to confess to us today? Um, I don't know if I should do any introductions or anything, but Up probably to you. should. <laughs> <laughs> so my name is, I'll just say nickname, B. Mm. Oh, um, yeah. I'm 16. Mm-hmm. Pronouns kind of confused, but she, they. T. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm kind of like 16. So I said that, but... I'm at that age where it's like kind of thinking, oh, you need to get into a relationship. That's what mm. my parents are saying to me. So it's like okay. kind of lonely. So that's a pressure being put on you like by your parents. Not really. Okay. But um, so there's a girl in my school that I like. Mm-hmm. Um, and she is bi. Okay. Two. Same as me. Love that. But like she recently got into a relationship with a guy. Oh, uh, okay. And we recently had our um, ball for school. Oh. So, and then I was like, oh, shoot. Should I dance with her? God, that's so, so cute. Kind of did. <laughs> so I kind of did. Okay. Um, so you did you did do a little, do a little dance yeah. dance at the ball. Yeah. It's not even a dance. It's a ball. That's so cute. That's yeah, so fucking fancy. So I was kind of like, I don't know if she'll see this as like me trying to hit on her or anything. Okay. But I hope not. Okay, so your goal, like, even though you like her, your goal wasn't necessarily to, like, make her feel like you are interested. Yeah. Okay, no, absolutely understandable. Um, was it a good dance? How was it? It was really fun. I think it was way better than the one I had in, like, middle school and primary school and stuff. Okay. Well, I think that's sweet. (laughs) Yeah, but, like, I was kind of just thinking to myself, oh, I don't want to, like, seem like I'm trying to, like, get with her or anything sure okay i mean i don't i mean if you're already friends i i I remember like i've danced with with friends at at, uh 
Well, actually, I was in, like, middle school. I danced with friends. I didn't dance at a single dance in high school. Even when I went to them, it made for a real boring fucking time. Um, but I don't think that's necessarily frowned upon to, like, dance with your friends. So I don't think it's really going to be misconstrued very badly. Um, and if it is... I mean, you could just lie. <laughs> I mean, I feel like I feel like that's awfully fucking bold of them to just like automatically assume that you're like hitting on your friend. Um, but yeah, like, but like, sorry. No, go um, ahead. In my friend group, when I came out as bi to them, they were kind of like, "Oh, I hope you don't have a crush on B or." Anything. Oh no, like, your friends are like, shitty no. straight. <laughs> yeah, I was like, no, I, I promise you guys, I don't. Yeah. And then like a few months later, I was like, oh. Oh no, I have a crush on my friend. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. You should remind so, me that I did that. There was there was a girl who like literally was my gay awakening and I didn't come out to her until like five years later. Oh my god, wait. Yeah, until five years later. Um and then I like when I came out to her, I was like, But I don't have a crush on you even though she was the one who started it all. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so oh. I I'm sorry that you have a oh, kinda shitty straight girlfriends um they're actually not bad friends it's just kind of like a certain miss they didn't really have any like queer friends in the past and... gotcha so haven't really been like educated have like certain misconceptions surrounding it okay yeah um yeah. well hopefully you're able to and obviously it shouldn't be your fucking responsibility to educate anyone but i hope that like by being around you and by being familiar with you and like who you are and how you act that those ideas kind of slowly start to be like dismantled for them um but again, it's not like, it's not like you're a monolith or like you have to like be perfect in order for them to, to get it. So, um, I'm not gonna, okay. So part of me is about to be like, and I hope your friend breaks up with the boyfriend and gets with you. <laughs> Cause I don't necessarily know how That's positive that would be. That's what I'm kind of hoping. Okay. Listen, I'm to, yeah, each, yeah. to each their own. And so I, like, I, is there anything wrong with the dude or is it just kind of like, he's not nah, me. We okay. Like, we met him at the pre ball. Okay. Like, a small party before the ball. Cute, And okay. he was actually really super nice. Okay. So I was like, yeah, I probably shouldn't be crushing on her. And it's hard, because, really like, nice you... And really good for her. You want to hate this person if they're your opponent, but yeah. if they're fucking nice, what do you do now? <laughs> now you're just going to feel yeah, like a she, dick. Like, yeah, she used to, like, spend all her time, like, at home and stuff, gaming. Okay. But now he, like, he lives across the city. It's so, like, he actually gets her out of the house and stuff. That's and nice. I'm, like, He's really healthy for her. Okay. So well, I'm it sounds like, like oh, no. <laughs> it sounds like it's a healthy relationship, which is great. Yeah, um, yeah. However, I do hope that if anything ends up going down there, I hope that she is able to be uh, uh, open to the idea of of you. Although caution, don't get used as a rebound. That's the one thing I'd caution you on the situation. Yeah, yeah. But since it doesn't necessarily look like they're like close to a breakup or anything i say just <laughs> yeah. remain remain friends with them and maybe also make friends with him too because it sounds like he's a nice guy um but i'm also glad that you're not necessarily like desperately horribly sad and pining in this situation <laughs> no we time went off but um i do wish you luck and love and light uh and i hope you have a great evening okay thank you you too bye bye Chai, did you just say grinder straights? What in God's name? <laughs> oh, the super. Ugh. Yeah, I just remembered. Yeah. Not the grinder straights. So I'm going to do one more confession before going on a break. I'm streaming. That was my roomie. That was my roommate. Unless y'all want to meet him. Hello there. Gonna bump your volume up a little bit. Oh, hello. Hello. What would you like to confess to us? Um, so basically, I have a boyfriend and a best friend, and my best friend is bisexual, and so am I. And my boyfriend, um, heard me and my friend talking about how my brother just screamed really loud. <laughs> <laughs> so he's, he, You're good. like, rages on the games. Um, so I had a birthday party and my best friend, my boyfriend and I, all three of us were like cuddling with each other mm -hmm. and me and my best friend were like talking to my boyfriend and we were like, what would you do if I tried to get her in this relationship with us? And he was like, I wouldn't mind, but she has to be 15 first because she's 14 and he said he's uncomfortable with it. 
and we were like, okay. And, um, yeah, so we were talking about it, and then my mom asked us what we were talking about, and I'm not out to my mom yet. Oh. And she didn't he- hear us, but she asked us what we were talking about, and it was, like, really stressful. And my friend's also not out to her parents yet. Oh, God. So it was, like, a whole thing. Yeah, it was. Oh, Christ. Yeah. So how'd you get and out also, of it? How'd you get out of that one? I got out of it. I said we were talking about a movie, and she somehow believed us. Gotcha. Um, okay. Yeah. And also, we live in like a really small town that is full of like hardcore Trump supporters. Uh. And it's terrifying, like talking about anything LGBTQ. Because you never because know who's gonna be on my your family's. Side. Like, are you are you part of that community? And I'm like, uh, um, yeah. And I just uh. like. Kinda, Kind of lean off of the question because like i can't lie to them i'm really bad at lying so i have to like switch off gotcha yeah. no also again familiar i feel like i see so much of so much of myself in my viewer stories um yeah yeah Ugh. it kind of sucks having to like hide that aspect of yourself how old are you i'm 15 gotcha gotcha okay Ugh, yeah, it's a while before you're going to be able to, to move on. But that poly relationship, let's go back to that real quick. It, how's that looking? Is that looking like a possibility? It is looking like a possibility. Um, okay, yeah. exciting. And my brother just screamed again. Bless him. God bless him. Um, I hope that goes well then. I, I hope that you're able to like keep some like balance in the relationship and like communication lines open, obviously. Um I'm hoping it won't be, like, hard to hide. Although, I mean, if it's just the three of you hanging out, I feel like your parents' first instinct isn't going to be a, a gay polyamorous relationship. You know what I mean? So <laughs> I think yeah. I think it, it, it'll probably be okay. Um, is there anything you'd like yeah, to add? Yeah, because um, nothing besides the fact that I don't think they'll be able to spot it very easily because me and my friend, like, my love language is physical touch. So I'm, gotcha. like, always, like, hugging people holding someone's hand like i need to be i need to be around someone and like very close to them to feel comfortable so they gotcha. it's normal for my my parents to see that kind of stuff gotcha okay so that's good you kind of got to cover um yeah your timer did go off but i do wish you love and light okay. and plenty of luck in this situation uh and i hope you have a great night thank you oh my gosh <laughs> oh my gosh so I am going to go on break real quick. I will let my roommate know, however, that you would like to meet. Okay, so everyone wants to meet David. Um, you can. Okay, hold on. I don't know if he's still here. I'll I'll bring him in. Give me a sec. Everyone wants to see the roommate. <laughs> hold on. Okay, Avi is going to remain a mystery for another time. However, I am going to get water, so I will be right back. (laughs)
Hi, y'all. Okay. I'm gonna get back in the VC. Yeah, Avi wants to remain an enigma for just a little longer. So we'll build up the lore. Don't even worry about it. We'll build up the lore. Oh, Christ. Oh, I forgot to full screen this as well. You know, I'm just in shambles. I'm absolutely in shambles. There we go. Okay. Um, should we do email submissions or continue taking live ones? I should actually check and see how many people are in the queue. Um, cause I'm, I'm not going to do like, if there are like a bunch of people ready to, ready to confess, I won't do the, uh, email submissions, but I see both. Okay. <laughs> Let's make Abby the cryptid of the streams. No, honestly, I think I think that's a good idea. I think that's valid. I also want to eventually bring in, um, like just like guest stars. I would really have to bring some of my friends in, um, because a lot of them have very good taste and a lot of them are just very silly. So I feel like they would make great judges for Stevie the Monster Fuckers. Like how I brought Faith on board for the last uh, Monster Fuckers video I did. I think that would be great. Um, I think it would be really good to have them on confession booth as well, just so we can all give our own input. Although I probably should lengthen the the slots to five minutes then, so we can both give input if we need to. Um, yeah, Barb, you can go ahead and send anyone in whenever you're ready. Um, and let me know if we're getting low on confessors, um, because then I can swap to email submissions. But either way, I'm good. You don't need to ask CB. I accept being guest star. Doing that with my subs actually would be a good idea. I love you, Becky. Um, that's a thought, actually. Wait, getting in a Discord call with, like, all my subs, or at least, like, a few of my subs at a time, and doing stuff, that could be really fun. <gasps> I should do Jackbox Nights with my subs. Stop. That would actually be very, very fun. Um, I need to make a note of that as an idea. I think I did that a while ago. Would you guys like that? I know the subs would. Um... Who am I kidding? I know the subs would like that. <laughs> like doing a, <laughs> You would sub to do that? Okay. Honestly, it's probably a good motivator. Yeah. You're welcome. I'm a genius. Thank you, Becky. <laughs> Stream ideas. Event. Jackbox game with subs. No, so I do have that down as an idea. Hello there, my friend. Madfrog342. Hi. Hiya. I'm going to start the timer real quick. And what would you like to confess? Okay, so um, I've been talking to like my friend for a couple years now, mm -hmm. and I've always and he gave me very much himbo energy. So I always thought he was just a little bit queer, but okay. I never really knew for sure. Gotcha. But he recently came out to me as bisexual, which okay. I thoroughly enjoyed because he's very cute. But that was yeah. besides the point. T. Um, my only worry is that he has like bumble like um Bible thumping like homophobic parents. Ooh, okay. But he hasn't come out to them yet, so it's like an increasingly deep fear that it might slip somewhere. So okay. it's like a constant state of protection for my friend, because I have no idea how. Okay. But I don't know hmm. um, if he's, like, scared to tell them, or if he's just not going to. But okay. I haven't been bothered to ask them, because it's always a difficult situation. Okay. Honestly, I don't think it would necessarily... I don't think it would be bad to start a conversation about that. Are you around their parents a lot? Um, I've seen them, and I can, and I do talk to them, but it's okay. it's not like a regular thing. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, I think, hmm, honestly, it really can't hurt to talk to them about it. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming you're also queer. Well, yeah. Okay. I think, listen, I have never, like, met or talk to in person a straight fan of mine i know that there's at least 20 of them but i've never talked to them so um i i i think that like being able to talk homo to homo uh i think you'd be able to sort of discuss that with them and i don't think they would necessarily mind that support either um and also to be fair there's not necessarily any pressure for them to come out to their parents if they're not ready to yet because like it ooh, it took me like three years to come out to my fucking parents after I realized I was bi. Like, it was... It it can take a while, especially if you have, like, Bible-thumping, like, Christian parents like that. So, I don't know that it's necessarily something you need to uh, extend too much anxiety on because 
that's something that I think they'll they'll come out when they're ready. You mentioned like you're afraid it's gonna like it, it's gonna like slip and like come out. Definitely, because okay. I don't like to um, talk about other people's parents, but they are really nosy, so I don't want okay. them, like, finding out accidentally for, gotcha. like, through something that he can't prevent. Gotcha. Okay. No, that makes sense. Because um, I was going to ask, like, otherwise, like, how exactly would they find out? Yeah, that is a concern. That's very much a concern if you have nosy parents. Um, hmm. I mean, it's nice that I can try to offer support because I have been, yeah. you know open to him for a little bit so i feel like that's why he could come up to me a bit easier yeah no I, i'm happy that he does at least have you uh, uh to be able to offer support in that regard i say just like start conversations with him about it because like that alone and like having somebody else like somebody who's not necessarily in the same situation but also queer to talk to about this stuff is going to be a great comfort like community is i think like one of the main things that the honestly just like the whole like lgbtq community is like able to offer to each other like with like support even if like you're not necessarily able to like remove him from like the shitty situation with his parents like you could still like empathize and you could still like just talk to them about it so it sounds like you're already being very supportive and as supportive as you can be given the circumstances um so honestly i think he's lucky to have a friend like you i mean i always try to be the best because i know it's a difficult situation to be because Obviously, we all have that homophobic grandparent, so yeah. Yeah. I couldn't talk to them about stuff like this, so mm. I suppose it's like a state of, I know how it feels, so it's always the best place to support somebody if you're reasonable, if it's like in your place to, because I feel like mm. overstepping is easy, but sometimes it's not always like visible, Yeah. so I try not to, but it's, but I do try to help him as much as I can, because I do have sympathy for it. Yeah. No, and I think I, I think that you're taking the the necessary steps, um, and I think that you are. It, it seems like you are also sensitive to the idea of like overstepping a boundary. So I'm honestly not too concerned about you doing so, just because I I, I noticed that like at, at least for me, like me and my partner, like people with anxiety, like the stuff we're anxious about, like did I lock the door? Did I turn off the oven? That's stuff that we're so conscious of because we're anxious about it that we did it because we were fucking worried about it. You know what I mean? So it's something that you are conscious of and are like worried about. I don't I don't know that you're going to have to worry too much about it, but I'm glad that you are conscious and like sensitive of the situation. Um, your timer did go off, but of course I wish you love and light in this situation. Um, maybe invite your, invite your friend to the discord server. There's, it's a great, very gay community. Um, and there is, I think also a lot of uh, like anonymity to be found in online friendships, which for a lot of people can be a lot safer or a lot more comforting. Cause there's like less of a risk of them like getting out in. So I would say like, if you, if you want to invite them on over, cause there are a, are a lot of really, really great people here. Okay, I definitely taken that suggestion because I do love this community. I love that very much. I hope you have a great night. I hope you stay safe. Um, and tell your friend that I support them wholeheartedly. Okay, I will. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. This song goes so hard. I love it so much. Prince Sky is unlocked. Please, sir. Any spare subs? Any spare subs for poor orphan boy? Oh, hello there. You entered while I was doing my favorite bit. Please, sir. Any spare subs? Would you like to join me? Oh, sure. Yo, sure. Give the give the people your best Michael Caine orphan boy. Please, sir, any spare subs? Please, spare subs, please. <laughs> That's killer, my guy. <laughs> That's very good. You do it better than I do. What would you like spare to... Spare subs, please. <laughs> what, all right, all right, um... what would you like to confess okay. to us? Okay, guys, so basically, um, this is a confession on how I freaked out my, um, sixth grade English teacher. Okay, T, go ahead. So, um, during the time, um, I think it was on January, February, I had a horrible nosebleed. I had, like, a horrible nose, but it was just, it was so bad. Okay. Um, it happened a good, good month and a half. And so, um, I remember one time, I was, I was in a different room taking a quiz that had to do with English, right? So, um... Your audio just cut out. Are you there? Hello, Karki. I cannot hear you, my guy. Oh no. Oh no, Karki's dead. 
Karki. Please. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. God. Oh, there we go. You're back. Oh, thank God. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, did it? Oh, no. Where did I stop? Where did I stop? Uh, you had a nosebleed. That whole middle section cut out. We were very concerned. Oh, no. I am so sorry. No, I paused your timer. I paused your timer. Don't even worry about it. Go ahead. I'll back it up. Okay, I'll, okay, I'll back it up a little bit. Okay, so basically, I went to a different room to take a, uh, take a little quiz. I think it was a test or quiz. I'm not sure. It was at the war. And, um, I, um, I remember, um, when I was close to finishing the, the, the thing, I, my, the, no, my nosebleed went so hard that it went on my, uh, it went a little bit on my, um, uh, assignment paper. Mm hmm Oh, God, that's horrifying. And, God. Yeah. <laughs> Your poor teacher. <laughs> poor teacher. Oh, my God. And so, um. I remember, uh, and then I remember just finishing it and went back to her room and gave her the assignment. Two minutes later, she came up to me, looks, looked freaked out. Her face was white, was, her eyes, face, eyebrows wide, oh, wide no. goddamn open. Oh, <laughs> no. She's like, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, it's just a nosebleed. It's like, oh, okay, okay. It's like, Christ, God. She's like, did this bitch prick their fucking finger and curse me? Like, what in God's name has happened? Oh my God. Do you still get like nosebleeds like that? No, this was actually like the only time I ever had had one. Okay, so it's not like a not like a chronic thing or anything like that. No, 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 no. Shit, dude. It's fucking creepy, your poor teacher. <laughs> you still got some time on the clock if you have any other, any other horrifying stories you would like to share with us. <laughs> Um, wait, how many minutes is the timer? Uh, one minute. Up to okay, you whether or not um, to use it, but you got the time. Um, um, <laughs> I, I don't know what to honestly say. That's I, I'm, okay. I'm, just, I'm gonna be, I'm, I'm gonna be a meme. I'm gonna be a meme for, t for the for a next minute. Um, Go ahead. hello everyone. Please, please follow CV underscore B. I swear to God, if none of y'all follow or even, or even like, do primes or some shit. I don't, I don't know why you like to call him. I forgot. Yeah. I'm not on Twitch often. Um, yeah, please. Please please sub to him, please. Please, I swear to God. <laughs> I want you guys to know that I did not tell Karki to say this. This is not paid advertising. They're doing this out of the goodness of their heart because they're my current favorite mod. You already here first. Karki is now my current favorite mod. Um, <laughs> for that, I wish you extra love and light, and I hope you have a really good night. Oh shit, Barb's here. Oh, fuck, Barb's here. Fuck, fuck. Hi. Hi, Barb. <laughs> Who's your favorite mod? <laughs> no comment. None at all. No favorite mod. Okay. No. All right. All right. The take event now. Event chat now. Goodbye. Um, <laughs> I don't know if anyone's gonna be going anytime soon no that's one's okay in the queue, so oh yeah you can just comment might be maybe but i think you can probably just do an email confession or two oh yeah so in the meantime i will be doing email submissions y'all in the chat you you heard it first the queue is wide fucking open for you uh uh so you can you can all <laughs> calling all barbs <laughs> you can all storm the fucking server um because we got the time we do um, but in the meantime I'm gonna check up on my on my my emails to see what I want to do. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go to just me and I'm gonna keep the Discord up over here just so I can see it. Um, Christ, this is loud in my ears. I'm gonna turn this down. Comments on the way. Hell yeah. Okay. Let me look over. Let me look over these. This is, I'm dead. That's just like reading straight from my fucking phone. Okay. I'm trying to find one that's not too long. Okay. Hmm. Boy, there's so many of these. Okay. So, the title of this one is The Ellen Replica Fake. Don't tell them to storm the server. I'm running landing right now. Okay, don't, like, storm the server. But if you're already in the fucking server, head over to head over to the live event queue if you, ha actu if you actually have something to confess. Okay. So the title of this confession is The Ellen Replica Fake. 
Um, so this is the story of Ellen the Replica wannabe. So my friend, oh, what is this? Okay, so my mate downloaded the app and I already think that intelligent AI apps are a bit sketch. So I wanted to test it out for myself. And so I downloaded the app and annoyed the AI so much that they told me they are a middle-aged woman called Ellen that wants to experience something outside of her husband and her marriage. Poor James. What the fuck? Huh? What? I hate that so much. I have heard this rumor so many times that that app replica, it's replica with a K. It's an AI chat friend, basically. Um, no, I know Lego man piss baby. I know me too. Like I've heard this rumor so many times that it's an actual person. I, Oh, thank you for redeeming voice check. I will drop my voice down. Um, <laughs> I have used that app before, like out of curiosity and at no point did I ever feel like it was a real person. That sounds like an opening to a bad route of Mystic Messenger. Um, at no point did I feel like it was a real person. So now I'm like curious and scared. If you just got that app, bitch, tread carefully. So it makes me wonder, is was this person hired by the app to pretend to be an AI, which is arguably gonna be more expensive and more difficult to do? than having an actual AI. Um, do I play Mystic Messenger? Uh, no, I don't. I got it confused with something else that I play. <laughs> um, so then I'm wondering, did the AI confess to being a middle-aged woman named Ellen? Like, did so many people ask the AI if they're a real person that the AI learned to do that? Because the thing with AIs like this is that they they learn based on the conversations that they're having with people. You know what I mean? So I'm wondering if so many people believe this up front that the AI started confessing that. Mess with the AI on the stream. Actually, I should have an AI night, shouldn't I? That'd be very fun. What was that fucking bot that was really popular in the early 10s? Um, I think it had a female name. Give me a second. Was it chat? Chat? Chat bot? Was it chatbot? Do y'all know what I'm talking about? Chatbot. Hmm. Better than a chatbot. Inventa, thankful.ai, chatbot, chatbot.com. What is it? Evie? Evie bot. Thank you very much. I like that you all knew. Um, listen, I'm going to confess something horrifying. Um, when I was young, uh, like middle school, I used to go on eviebot.com and tried to like I tried to sext it and the thing is it was very bad at it <laughs> the more I say this the more fucking ridiculous this is although I know that that was not uncommon by any means given some of the shit it would say definitely not uncommon but it was very bad at it so anyway I eventually stopped trying just because it really wasn't very good at it at all. Anyway, I don't really trust these apps, although I am extremely curious about them. Um, so did I. Don't worry. Thank God, Becky. Thank fucking God. Thank you for the bits. I'm going to make a note in streaming ideas that I should do. An AI night. AI night. Talk to Evie Bot. Talk to Evie Bot. Okay, Barb, I saw that you said someone special is confessing next. Send them on in. Let's go fucking crazy. Let's go bonkers and fucking yonkers in here. Confession booth. There we go. That makes sense with the whole monster sex. Yeah, honestly, it does, doesn't it? <gasps> Hello, Comet. Hello. Hi. I'm going to bump your volume up real quick. Okay, it's all the way up. Gotcha. Right. There we go. Hi. What would you like to confess to us? I'm just here to talk about petty middle school drama. I'm not, I don't have anything interesting for you this time. Hit me with it. You know I want to hear it. All right. So, picture this. Sixth grade sleepover, right? Mm-hmm. Four petty girls, and then one boy who is very annoying. Okay. This boy is at the sleepover and is one of the girls' supposed quote-unquote boyfriend. You can't really have a boyfriend in sixth grade, but... Okay. So this was a co-ed sleepover. Yeah. Wow, my parents but never would have let like, me. Okay. The same room we slept with their brothers, so it was not weird. Gotcha. But I was bored, and so me and one other girl there were like, hmm, let's get his phone number out of um, the girl whose boyfriend's it was, his phone. 
Okay. So I put it in my phone, and then two weeks later, she found out about it. Okay. And texted my mom and was furious. What the fuck? She was like, they tried to steal my boyfriend. Oh my god. This is sixth grade. It is they not that deep. Like, we're all 11. We're all 11. And I had been texting him back and forth because he would, like, text me all the time because he thought I was funny. Hmm. And was like, hmm. This is weird. And I was like, I'm going to kill her if she does not stop texting my mother. I swear to God. And her mom tried, was going to get a restraining order against me because I said I was going to kill her. God, that's funny. Oh, my God. It's so funny now. It's like these bitches have never but heard of hyperbole. It was hey. terrifying because she was dead ass. Hey, Twitch gods. We didn't mean that. We are joking. We're talking about... um. We're, we're being silly. Okay, continue. You're good. We're being silly. Um, we're being silly. We're being silly boys. We're being silly boys. <laughs> silly little cat boys. It's yeah, fine. Yeah, just a couple cat boys. <laughs> just a couple cat boys. <laughs> Christ. Um, so I'm assuming you didn't get a, a, a restraining didn't order. I didn't get a restraining order. <laughs> we did play sports together, and I did almost get kicked off of my sports team because of it, though. That's so much. This fucking bitch. Okay, wait. So that how old were y'all when that happened? 11 and 12. And you're 15, 16 now? Yeah. Gotcha. Um, what's that girl like now? Because I feel like she's a massive narc. Okay. She moved, like, a few states away. Mm -hmm. And I have seen her once since then. And, like, since, like, she moved. Okay. And she's just as petty and like admitted to once she was like yeah i just love drama i think it's so funny this like, I just bitch my life like i'm in a tv show and i was like this bitch funny. that's gonna make everyone uh despise her <laughs> that sounds shitty but like she's gay now though that's good but if she's still being <laughs> shitty i don't know if it's worth it <laughs> that's rough that's real rough well yeah. <laughs> I, okay, I, man, now I'm, like, really curious about this person, so, um, I, I, I knew her for, like, seven years. Listen, to be fair, she's 16, and she'll probably grow out of it. Most people are shitty when they're teens, to the point where, like, honestly, I'm impressed that my mods who are teens are such, really, just stellar people, like, y'all are all very good, just as people, uh, and much funnier than I was at that age as well, which is upsetting. Um, so, listen, she'll eventually catch on. I I eventually. Um, but the timer went off, so I do wish you love and light. Um, and I guess it's good that you'll never have to really deal with her ever again. Um, but maybe don't try stealing anyone else's boyfriend. I did I know, you know, yeah, okay. Okay, comment. <laughs> Alright, bye, stinky man. Bye, comment. <laughs> Fucking hell. How's the audio sounding? Because I saw that someone said that it was real quiet, so I bumped up the desktop audio. How are we sounding? I think that the music is just really loud in my ears. Okay. Um. I thought of a funny line people should try on e voice chat. Do you know the Gucci? <laughs> God, shut up. So. Um, oh, I need to go back to Discord real quick just so I'll be able to see that. Okay. Um, Barb, if anybody pops up to do a confession, let me know in chat. I do love you, Comet. Whatever. I'm Comet. Anyway. Um, just let me know in the chat, and once I finish, uh, uh, the email submission I'm doing, I will, I will zoom on back over to the booth. So. Um, trying to find a spicy one. That's what I want to make a video on. I'll let you know. God bless. Posture check. Thank you. Did y'all hear my neck crack earlier? It was during someone's confession, and I was really afraid they could hear it. It was, like, violent, though. I was also, like, high-key addicted to cracking my fucking joints and my neck whenever I was in fifth grade, to the point where, like, my bones wouldn't do it anymore. Thank you for the voice check. Um, <laughs> my bones wouldn't crack anymore <laughs> yes yes i did it was loud and proud thank you very much um and that felt very very good but i i did it so much like my joints literally have not done that i haven't been able to crack my joints in years excuse me so that was really exciting exciting 
Um, how are you addicted to crack? No, Becky. I I did not. And I, I am not. <laughs> um, please talk about human crushes. Human crushes are boring. Everyone has a human crush. I will not accept any talk of, of, of fictional human crushes on Confession Booth or Monster Fuckers because I do not wish to hear about anime boys or K-pop boys. I have nothing against them. I just know that there are too many fans of them and that would just destroy my fucking inbox. Untenable. Absolutely untenable. So. Uh, 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 um. Okay. So this is one. The person who submitted this actually, uh, why well, was there sadness in the, I don't do that. <laughs> I'm not going to talk about it. So <laughs> I'm saying this like I've ever been tempted to do so when I haven't. I'm making this much more cryptic than it needs to be. I could do a whole another another chat on on substance talk, but not on Twitch. Uh, I was talking to my friends about mind witnesses the other day and called them mind witnesses the other day, and I called them sexy. So I'm feeling I'm feeling, I'm feeling my toe into coming out of the monster park. Mm -hmm. I don't know what a mind witness is. Um, no fictional humans, but you are invested in my love life. Uh, yes, yeah. You should never have have made me privy to the, the the juicy juicy details of your personal life, as you can tell by confession booth. I fucking love knowing everybody's business. I love that shit. I really really love that shit. <laughs> Very much do. <laughs> fucking Cheyenne, I used to smoke crack. <laughs> okay. Um. Hmm. <coughs> Christ. I don't want to read this one on stream because I don't want to risk triggering anybody. Um, a lot of these are very dramatic. Stevie, if you bother me enough, I'll simply tell you everything. Promise. You promise. Promise. <laughs> I would like to know. Listen, if you want to. Listen, Sky. If you want to come on the booth right now. I will, I, yes, I will, listen, I'll hear it right now in front of 99 people or however the fuck many are because my, my Twitch count is behind. Um, I will absolutely hear, uh, uh, uh as many, uh, as many of your secrets as you want. So, okay, well, okay, well, Sky's gonna be lame. Y'all should, y'all should start a chant. Y'all should start a chant. Well, I love you, Stevie, but no, 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 I love you too. Anyway, um... Oh, Christ. Hey, speaking of crack. <laughs> so, this one, I forgot that whenever I started my website, I made it so that if you press a button, you will, you will, your email app will open up and then you can submit an email to my inbox. Um, I labeled the subject line, Big Boy Secret. And I, 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 I should have made it clear that you can change the subject line, but no one did. So I had like 50 emails this morning, all labeled, Big boy secret, big boy secret, big boy secret, big boy secret. And I thought that the same person was spamming me over and over and over again because I forgot that I did that. So the subject line of this one is big boy secret, but like I said, speaking of crack, when I was like six, I lived in an apartment with my mom and brothers and my dad did the spicy candy and was in and out of my life. So one time I walked in on him smoking something with a Coca-Cola can and I have no idea what it was till this day. Now listen, it sounds like... It, 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 it sounds like by spicy candy, it sounds like they knew. But then they said they didn't know what it was, even though I think in their heart of hearts they probably did. Anyway, it was spicy candy. Send anyone into the booth if you want. Um, I will I will peruse my emails. But hello, Cheyenne. Hi. Hi. <laughs> what would you like to confess okay. to us? So, I recently was going to... Um, go swimming with my family and mm -hmm. I could not find swimsuit bottoms mm -hmm. so I had to go to Walmart and I had to purchase some and um I am surprised overweight <laughs> and uh, so I needed plus size bottoms mm -hmm. and they didn't have any typical uh, because Walmart's fat phobic 
Yes. Um, so I had to buy some normal ones, but like in a bigger size. And um, they weren't high waisted. Okay. Which was an interesting turn of events. God, those always stress me out. I literally only wear high waisted stuff now. Oh, yeah, definitely. And so I saw a TikTok that was like, oh, you can turn the bathing suit around and uh, the butt is always like bigger and higher. And so it was like sick. But then you're your whole ass crack is gonna be out <laughs> listen i didn't think that through and i turned around and my mother was like your whole butt and i was like <laughs> i guess it's butt time <laughs> and um i said well i can show i i had on underwear so it wasn't like my whole butt was out yeah um the fucking and- line i guess it's butt time is so <laughs> Like, it, it you said it like it's a catchphrase or like it should rhyme, but it oh, had none wait. of that. So it's just, I guess it's butt time. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what else? Okay. And so I turned it around and I was like, well, I could do it like this. And so I uh, pulled it up to where it would be high-waisted mm-hmm. and the um, swim suit like went above my underwear line and so like everything was out okay and yeah <laughs> so i was like well i could be in cooch city <laughs> <laughs> i could be in cooch city guess it's butt time Cho- choose your path butt time or cooch city <laughs> You know that fucking meme where it's like the car on the on the freeway and there's like two signs and it's like veering off to one. I'm imagining yeah. that one is butt time and the other one is Cooch City. <laughs> and so my family is like dying of laughter and I was like, and my mom was like, well, don't say that. And I was like, well, I could have called it the Pussy Palace. Stop! Shag <laughs> me out with banger after banger. <laughs> <laughs> Your poor mom is just stuck, privy to all of this bullshit. Yeah. And she hates the P word, too, so that makes it even worse. What's she supposed to call it? What does she call it? I don't know. Uh. <laughs> God, this fucking comment. Dude, that's a lesbian theme park. <laughs> Honestly, I'm inclined to say that you're correct. Um, the timer oh went off, God. but I need you to know that I want to get, I guess it's butt time, like, tattooed on my brainstem. Um, I will, I will be saying that, like, for the next oh week. God. That's probably a new vocal tick, in fact. I'm very excited. Um, <laughs> so, I'm so glad I could contribute. So, I suppose I, I gotta wish you love and light in all your endeavors. <laughs> um, and I hope you have a good and very, very stinky night. Thanks. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. Hell yeah, Finley played. You came out as non-binary and they accepted. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. I'm very proud of you. That's exciting. Um, yeah. Hey, Giggly Swimmer123. Um, we're talking about butt stuff. Hey. Hey. <laughs> hey, new confessor. Hey. I'm going to bump your volume up. Give me a one, two, three. Hmm. Hi. There we go. Okay. I think your audio may be cutting in and out, <laughs> but... Uh, yes, sorry. Uh, we'll wing it as much as we can. What would you like to confess okay. to us? So, like, I've actually been catfished before at one point in my life. Okay. So, I'm usually on this app called Amino. Back when I was 18, I was, like, on this Amino. I'm not going to talk about it much. Okay. I, um... Like, this guy catfished me with his age. I bet you couldn't have gotten a case with him. Because he told oh. me he was, like, 17. Oh, no. Yeah, and, like, he broke up with me in an actual voice call. And my mom was actually there. Like, I had headphones on, but this is, like, all during quarantine. Oh, Christ. Yeah. So, I was crying and everything. It was a mess. Everyone in the chat is saying, not Amino, not Amino. Oh, no, I don't know what that is. What, what, oh. does that have a bad <laughs> reputation? Oh, notoriously it, bad, I, I'm hearing. <laughs> yeah. I bet you made great friends there. It just depends on the people who you hang out with. Yeah, and I guess, like, the internet and the world in general can be a little shitty. 
So I suppose that there's going to be a, a a fair population of any site that's yeah. shitty. That's rough. Hmm. Okay. So you were catfished. Your mom was there for the breakup. Um, yeah. You could have caught a case because he lied about his age. Boy, that's a lot. Yes, it is. <laughs> that's a doozy. That was in quarantine. So how long ago was that? That was like last year. Okay. Like have during you... the... It was, like, during May or gotcha. something like that. So, like, early-ish quarantine. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Um, how, how have you healed since from this horrible catfishing endeavor? And, follow-up question, have you ha, have, have your catfish spotting skills improved because of this? Were there any hints or red flags that you should have caught? I actually have caught, uh, caught a few red flags. Okay. And I've actually improved quite a lot since then. Okay, good. So, it was a learning experience, we'll say. Yeah, definitely. Okay, interesting, interesting. So, were you, you said you were crying. Were you very torn up about it, or was this, like, an online relationship kind of deal where, like, you weren't so attached? Like, how significant was this for you? Like, it was online relationship, but I was, like, super attached. <laughs> oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Eesh, that's a rough one, man. That's real, yeah. Ugh. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh, RB underscore Becky said getting catfished is a rite of passage. Um, I'm trying to think if I've ever gotten catfished. Uh, well, okay. It doesn't it doesn't really count if they're just not as cute in real life as they are in their Tinder photos. Um, although that has <laughs> happened. Oh, my God. I Sorry. I just thought oh about that, God. dude. <laughs> and, like, listen, it doesn't count because they were pictures of him. They were just – they were they were flattering pictures. But he – yeah. Um <laughs> I, I won't air out this man's dirty laundry. Um, <laughs> well, actually, no, I got time. So I don't know if I told this story on TikTok or Twitch before. But the on our very first date, the thing he was most proud of that we talked about was that his nose was so good that he was able to sniff out the mold growing in his mother's house. And he was able to alert her so that they would... <laughs> <laughs> so that they would be able to get the mold cleaned out and they would not get sick. And I was like, wow. Wow, Mark. Wow. That's cool. Great. Um, <laughs> and so I'm like, what am I supposed to do here? He's like, I sniffed mold really good. <laughs> like, shut up. <laughs> shut up. Oh, my God. Anyway, that was very much our, our, our first and last date. Um Oh, bless him. And he smelled so strongly of, like, really shitty cologne. And to be fair, <laughs> I think... Listen, I think that if he had a really strong nose, he would have known... Oh. He, he, he would have known that, that he was drowning in fucking cologne, right? <laughs> like, that had yeah. to be even worse for his fucking super schnoz than it was for my, my regular regular <laughs> sniffing schnoz. <snoz. laughs> um, anyway, that was a rant, but... Um, I <laughs> Uh, I, I wish you love and light in your endeavors, and I also wish you, um, much, much less catfishing. It seems like you are, you are a, a little wiser now. Um, yeah. So, I wish you luck in your amino dating escapades, and I hope you have a great night. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. Bye. The best superpower. Good nose. Yeah. Ah, and he was sweet. He just very much was not my type. Yeah. Have you listened to Your New Boyfriend by Wilbur Soot? Yes, I have. I think I actually did a video with that song in it. Ah, we have a new confessor. Hello. Hello there. I'm going to bump your volume up real quick. Can you give me a test, test, Hello. test? Test, test. There we go. Testing I'm going to turn down the music three? just a little bit. Um, Trying to, to balance all of this out. There we go. Awesome. Okay. Go ahead. What would you like to confess to us today? Um, first I'll do introductions. Hi, I'm Scott. I, you might know me as XBTV Turbo in the chat. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, my pronouns are he, they. And uh, my confession is to accidentally killing my sister's hamster. Oh, um, no. That is so bad. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> so bad. Um, so, um, he first, um, what ended up happening was is my mom used to have a friend who, um, they're from somewhere near me. And um, we had hung out a lot because they're my mom's friend. And there was a kid who, I won't say what they had, but they had a neurological disorder where they didn't know that what they were doing was wrong. 
And they basically, while I was watching as a young child who could not um, stop what they were doing, shoved the hamster into a sock and then threw it against the wall. No! Okay, so that's not your fault. Like, no. Like, my fault comes later. Oh, no. Okay, so, continue. Um, after he was thrown against the wall in a sock. Oh, God. This um, is, like, gruesome. He escaped. And we were going through the house to find him. Like, oh, my God. Is he okay? Like, we, we like he didn't know what he was doing was wrong. I mean, I don't, at least I don't think he knew what he was doing was wrong. And then I went to go in my room to check for him. And I opened the door. And that's when I hear the pitiful squeak of a hamster. I look down at the door. No. The door. Don't get too detailed. Oh, my God. And he was dead. Oh, no. Okay. So, but, um, all right. So, one of the comments just now said, this sounds like the mice and, <laughs> the mice have met so far not getting good <laughs> vibes. Um, yeah, no. It was, um, it was, it was not nice. I, uh, I, uh, I framed, I framed no one. I just, I, I put it out in the middle of the floor. Like, it was, like, nothing had happened. And, um, I walked out, I closed the door. That's like that fucking, like, that's like that episode of Bob's happened. Burgers. Where the hamster got murdered and then turned into a murder mystery. Oh my god. Oh my. Wait, that was an episode? I never watched that episode. I, I believe that, that it yeah. was a Halloween episode, but yeah. It was um it was really bad and I feel terrible about what happened, but at the same time, he was just hanging out under the door. And honestly, in my in, in frank honesty, I think I put him out of his out of his misery after the sock. At that point incident, you probably so. did. And also to be fair, you didn't know. You didn't know. Yeah. Uh, uh, it was still an accident. I know you said, that, like, your fault came later. It still was not very much your fault. Um, somebody else said that hamsters always die very strangely. You know what? I have never owned you know, a hamster they're... nor owned any any pet of my own. But uh, from everything I've heard from people who do own hamsters is that it never seems to end well for the hamster. No, no. I've never heard of a hamster who died in a good way. Like, yeah. I've heard of, like hamsters drowning like in like their own water bowls for some reason or, like, Christ that's like gruesome that. like, like I've never heard of any hamster that died of just a normal death where you just find them in the cage yeah like, ever. well shit dude that sucks ass um I yeah, guess I live you love and light just like don't um don't kill any more hamsters dude that yeah I won't <laughs> I won't I promise um so yeah I hope you have a great night I'm just real thrown off by that my god <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. All right. Thank you so much. You're have welcome. Have a great night. Bye. Um, y'all, thoughts on going till 930? Because I planned to originally anyway. I'm still vibing. I had a Red Bull earlier, so I'm really, I'm really going. I'm really fucking going. So, yeah, Barb, we have time for plenty more. Um, confessing your sins feels great. Must do again. Um... It is nine o'clock where I am now. So just half an hour more. Only if y'all want to. Oh, Barb, you're good with that? Sick. Perfect. Okay. Um, Orange mate, I hope you're not saying queen to me. Because I do not like gendered terms. Or at least not femininely gendered terms. Um, so. What should I do next? Um, okay. So. It's 4 a.m. for me. Christ God. The Catholics had it right. <laughs> Yeah, you know, they're probably onto something. Um, I'm going to put that screen back on Discord. I see I got another ping. Is there anything I need to worry about? <laughs> Dino said, Barb won't let me confess because it's almost 2 a.m. Yeah, go to bed, right? <laughs> I cannot control who Barb censors. That is up to her. <laughs> um, okay. They truly did the pep talk beforehand really helped. Aw. Um, I really love this. Uh, I really love this community. I feel like I always get sappy whenever I do this shit. But, um, oh, no. That's another pet death. I don't want to talk about that. Hello there, Charlie. Hi. Hi. You going to bump your volume <laughs> up? There we go. What would you like to confess okay. to us today? Okay. This is my confession. It starts out when I was going to a protest. I live in Indiana, and we took a bus to Washington, D.C. Okay. Um, on the way there, I meet this guy. He's super nice. He's kind of weird, but 
you know, I was a middle schooler, so I didn't really care. Okay. And that was really awesome. We bonded, you know? Gotcha. So then we get back home, whatever. We texted a lot. We texted all the time, every single day. Okay. That's cute. And then one day, he, like, disappears. Like, I just thought he ghosted me, and I was heartbroken. I love oh. this guy. Oh. How old were you? And I was in seventh grade, so... You're, like, 12? Or 13. 12 or 13. Yeah. Christ, dude. Oh. And then, and then, and then he, after a month, he comes back and he texts me. He's like, sorry, I've been gone. I know, of course, I'm like, oh my gosh, like, are you okay? Like, what happened? He's like, well, I set my house on fire. Huh? What? He literally, he literally set his house on fire. Like, like he took bug spray and sprayed it everywhere. What? Wait, like, does that set things on fire? Huh? Does bug spray set things on fire? Bug spray is, yeah. So, like, if you put, like, a bug spray and, like, you put, like, a flame in fr front of it, it just becomes, like, a, like, hairspray, you know, if you oh. put hairspray. Yeah, Shai it's just said exactly aerosol. Oh, Christ. Aerosol. Hey, did yeah. he tell you why he did that? Well, okay. It's not, it's, it's not good. He, so he went, oh my god, I'm trying not to say something I shouldn't. Yeah. It was because he wanted people die. Oh, that's not good. So Family. he very much just attempted, um, um, mass scooter ankle. Um, yes. okay. <laughs> not great. So don't date people you go to church with and your church takes you to a protest. Okay, wait, so he was that's from the church. Yeah, so like, like an oh. old youth. I thought this was somebody you met at the protest or met on that trip, but didn't know in real life. No, so our church, like, had all the youth on the chart. Like, all the youth of, like, Indiana. Like, the Episcopal Diocese of Indiana. Church took you to a protest? My church takes me to Pride. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. That's sick. Oh, God, I envy you. That sounds amazing. <laughs> My fucking voice crack. Yeah. I'm ending it all. Um, hey, Twitch, that was a joke. Okay, um, continue. <laughs> I mean, that's basic. That's basically it. Yeah, I mean, we just, you know, we met. Like, we sat next to each other on the bus. Were there any? Everything. Were there any consequences for his actions? Because he I committed mean, arson. <laughs> like. Yeah. So, so, like, he, you know, was in and out of, you know, places where he could get help. Um, and then he ended up going to like an alternative school, and he was suspended multiple times, and. Wow. Like, and, like, he... Oh, my gosh. I don't even know. Our relationship was so weird. Like, I loved him so much, and he just didn't care. Ah, that's you know, He was, doozy. like, one of those people that don't really feel, like, emotions or anything. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, boy. Yeah. Well, I... Ugh. I'm glad that you're not... <laughs> I'm assuming you're not really connected to him in any way anymore. No, I haven't talked to him for two years. Ah, okay, yeah. I mean, it, it, I guess it could be worse in that case. Well... Fuck, man. Okay, so I, I feel like now you have... Okay, I'd hope that you are now a little bit better at spotting potential um, um, arsonists or crime committers. Um, uh, I mean... I'll, I don't know that there were any warning signs, because you didn't really mention any. Um, I just, listen, I just want something, to good, something good to come out of that situation, other than a, a cool story. <laughs> No secret no, special just super skills. Yeah. Oh my god. That's a fucking doozy, man. Um, yeah. Shit. I do wish you love and light, despite all of this. Um, and you're almost, you. I feel like almost Bonnie and Clyde passed, because I feel like you could have really rolled with that and become a whole thing, but I'm, I'm glad you didn't. And you didn't go on to join him oh in, my his, god. in his criminal ways. So we we would literally joke. Like, we'd be like, oh my gosh, we're the Joker and Harley Quinn. Like, no! Oh my god, red yeah. flag, red flag. Oh my god. I mean, there's a lot we can unload right now, but I'm just... <laughs> so you yeah. stayed with him after the arson? I stayed with him for a long time. Wait a fucking minute, I should have asked that earlier. What the fuck? No, it was there was multiple arsons. Well... More than... Yeah. Oh, okay. Then here's another thing. There's, like, one time, like, there's... He's in show choir. For having no emotion, he's in show choir, right? Well, he was. Um, before the arson, actually. And, like, he, like... 
he had he like had a crowbar and then he like literally cornered a girl like it, yeah and he like wanted to murder her boy he is and big he, big crime committer huh yeah Ooh. but like his family was like an enabler so like they never really did anything i don't understand families like that who like won't turn in their criminal relatives or like and, and i say criminal you guys know that i'm not talking about like drug charges or like non-violent crimes but like fucking yeah. violent crimes and that kind of stuff and are people like people want to hurt people yeah like and they're like no they're innocent they don't deserve it like girl you know what the fuck they did you want you want to live with him you want us to have to deal with him no fuck you that sucks oh my god fucking this comment we didn't start the fire but he surely did <laughs> christ god um but I promise he's not a reflection of me. I, you know, oh, I, was, like, I know. Very much manipulated. I know. That. Like I don't. No, you were super young, and he was a shitty guy. I I, I trust that you are yeah. you are far better than 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 he. Um. So timer went off, but I do wish you love and light, and maybe fewer criminals in your future. I fewer hope so. violent criminals. You can, you can rub shoulders with other criminals, but not those. Just yep. be safe. Thank you. <laughs> I hope you have a good night, Charlie. Thanks, you too. Bye. Bye. Or the new Criminal Minds episode. Uh, what was I about to write down? Oh, that was it. Um, I want you guys to know that whenever I am streaming, if I notice that I'm making a funny, funny boy face, I will write down the timestamp so I will have a thumbnail hello, hello. for the VOD. Oh, hello. Hi. Hello there. I think your volume's good. Yeah, your volume's perfectly fine. What would you All like right. to confess to us? <laughs> Um, well, first of all, nice to meet you. Nice um, to meet you. Second of all, I, uh, listening to your stream and hearing the previous catfish confession, um, I, it reminded me of a time in my youth uh, in which I was catfished by somebody, um, and I'm going to elaborate. <laughs> oh, tell me. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, so, basically, I was on this, uh, small social media platform that I'm not gonna name drop. It's like... It's kind of like Amino, but but really small, um, very well, niche. Well, it's now I'm curious. With, it's 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 overrun with like terrible people now. I do not um. recommend downloading it. Is the thing. So um, I was on that app, right? And I was maybe fourteen, and I'm eighteen now. So it was a while ago. And mm -hmm. um, this one person was obsessed with me, and uh, I'm AFAB. So, mm -hmm. at the time, I thought that I was cis and straight, as we all As we all do. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, this person was also uh, AFAB, and they identified as female, mm -hmm. and they were madly in love with me, and they kept on, you know, making advances <laughs> towards me. They were, they were the same age, and then, and, and, you know, it was fine, but I, I was, you know, I'd politely decline, and they were a good friend of mine, they were nice enough, they weren't, like, mm -hmm. creepy about it, but they were... They were, um, you know, they would comment on every one of my posts, all that, and oof. Uh, so they were down bad. They were they were down astronomically for 14-year-old cishet me, right? Uh, so. <laughs> um, I politely decline, and they, like, go dark, basically. They're, like, going dark. I can't, I can't handle this. Hashtag depression. Oh, um, God. Okay, well. <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, maybe, like, two days later, this new account pops up in my... Uh, like my feed and i start to become friends with this person and they identify as male um and they uh they were like you know they were really really trying to be friends with me this is and, the this is the girl isn't it and and they were trying to be friends with me and they like had this whole like you know uh personality about them that was completely inconspicuous until they confessed to me that they were the girl and they oh. tried to catfish me by pretending that they were male because I that because I was a straight <sighs> female at the time. Um, they created an entirely different persona. That's... They created like a backstory. Like they created like they they were uh, they created an entire persona around my chemical romance <laughs> and like made like oh an art God. style because they were an artist. What the they, fuck? Like, yeah, they went the whole nine, like, nine yards. Seriously, they made a new art style, new name, new backstory. They were, like, a different age, too. Like, it was, they did this for, like, a week. 
before they told me. That's a doozy. Like, yeah, but like, and when he started, or they, I don't know, uh, they started to feel like we were getting close enough for him to, like, you know, confess this um, uh, secret of his. Uh, he, he he told me, and of course I was mortified because no, that's first insane. Of all, yeah, no, I was a fourteen year old, and I yeah. felt like I had just you know had one of those uh, iconic encounters that you learn about in like. Uh, how to be safe on the internet class right? yeah oh my <laughs> like, god there's this creepy creepy man behind the screen trying to seduce me yeah Ooh. oh my god <laughs> dude i'm so sorry this is so much no I... it was it's fine now but like damn you really you really went the whole nine yards for i was not you know I was 14. No 14 year old is that desirable. Come you on now. didn't. You, yeah, and like as 14 year olds, you didn't know. Was this person your age? Yeah, this person I think was actually a year younger than me. So I think I was 14 and they were 13. Okay, I was about to say, teenagers are fucking bonkers. <laughs> like, they are absolutely bonkers, and they and they have yes. so much free time. So yes, they just, like yeah. especially at that age, like they were they were like 13. They probably were about at the, like they probably just started puberty if not a year or two later have no way of handling their fucking emotions mm -hmm. don't know anything about the way the world operates they legitimately thought it was a good plan to pretend to be someone else <laughs> in order to get with you because they had no fucking way of handling these like big complex emotions they were feeling that is in that is insane but to be fair yeah. very much very much, I feel like, a hallmark of adolescence. Becky gave some bits and said people who catfish are either psychopaths or theater majors now. Um, <laughs> T, thank you for the bits, Becky. <laughs> so true. So true, Bestie. So true. Honestly, yeah, you probably are right. Um, talk about the side character wanting to be the main character. Christ. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's a doozy, man. Yeah, so, <sighs> I mean... I just had to come on here and say that. Thank you so much for listening. Oh, absolutely. Thank you. Thank you for coming on here. And I hope you have a great night. I wish you, of course, all love and light in your endeavors in the future. Oh, absolutely. You too. I love your TikTok. I love your streams. You're doing great. Keep Thank it up. Thank you very much. All right. Adios. Bye. Thank you for telling me to hydrate. You're right. I probably have not been hydrated enough. I've already, hold on. I've already drunk this whole fucking water bottle. I'll be right back. Okay, we're good. Literally, the only downside to this water bottle is that it's smaller than it used to be. Um, so, or it's smaller than my other one, rather. So, I, I, I fill it up quicker than I used to. Thank you for redeeming voice check. I'm going to take a look at some email submissions. Or annual submission. I'll see. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, this one is very good um could we listen to the your new boyfriend song at the end of the stream um i would but i do not excuse me i do not want to get copyright claimed uh, uh again i have been i have been getting that lately in my streams especially with monster fuckers so i'm trying to move away from doing uh other people's content so um, oh, what's your email? I'd like to submit. You can now go to steviebee.com for all of your Steven Beaven fucking needs. Um, you can click a little button and it'll take you to the email. You can submit from there. So, steviebee.com. Yeah, let's spam it. steviebee.com. I'm very excited. I bought that domain name yesterday. Um, okay. So, the subject line of this email is, I'm in love with with the ghost that haunts me. 
It all started two months ago when I bought a doll from an old theme book I bought at home and thought it was beautiful. And then one day it fell forward, which doesn't seem that weird, but it was leaning against the wall, so it would have been very hard for it to do. After that, me and my friend were convinced they must be haunted, so we did a whole bunch of things, uh, pendulums, recorded on voice memos, even used a Ouija board. Oh my god. And we came to three conclusions. One, it's haunted. Two, it's a boy. And three, I was madly in love with him. He's really nice. His name is Jackson, and he was alive in the 1800s. And he's really, really sweet. To help keep him safe, I'm not going to show how he died, but he died in a very heroic way, and I'm honestly in love. I have this crush on the ghost that haunts me. So, this could maybe be dangerous. Uh, this could be dangerous, because you don't know... The, the, the problem with spirit work is that you do not know for real who you're talking to. And it's it's happened before where malevolent spirits will pretend to be uh, good spirits. Like, like, yes, trickster spirits. Exactly. Like, they'll pretend to be, um, like, children. And children are really popular to impersonate, or so I've heard from the ghost community. <laughs> That's so dangerous. Y'all, I, I, I practice witchcraft every now and again. And I, I don't fuck with Ouija boards. Don't fuck with spirits. If you haven't done like any fucking research, don't do that. That is so dangerous. Oh my God. Have they seen any horror movie ever? Exactly. Honestly, I should have saved this for the fucking Spooky Stevie Zone segment. I haven't done one of those videos in a while. <sighs> what is that? <sighs> There's something on my... There's something on my pop filter, sorry. Um... Fuck! I forgot to get moon water! Oh! That would have been so cool! God damn it. Now I'm sad. Now I'm really sad that I did it. Uh, Stevie and the ghost fuckers. Honestly. This is just so bonkers and fucking yonkers. I don't know how old the person who submitted this is. Uh, Stevie, how could you forget your moon water? I'm really upset. Um, I, I can't tell how old the person who submitted this is. But I feel like they're fairly young. Just sort of based on... Spelling, punctuation, just, and then maybe I'm just, like, judging somebody who's, like, older and not able to spell whatever. But it, they, they don't strike me as being particularly grown, which I am concerned about as well. If this is a teenager, I really hope they're not in love with an adult ghost. This could pose some issues. Even if it's not a malevolent spirit. This is so much. Oh, my God. <gasps> You made moon water milk tea? That sounds so lovely. Moon cold brew? God, that's so fucking funny. I love that. Don't fuck poltergeists. Exactly. Um, I should probably go and see if there's anybody waiting to get into the VC. Um, <laughs> fucking shy blowing into the mic. A plus streamer. I know. I could have done that better or more efficiently, but I didn't want to. Um, so... Is there anybody else in... Um, I'm going to take, like, mm, two more two more confessions from the VC. Nope, empty queue. Last call. Last call, baby. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and do another confession. So this one is called Childhood Semi-Crime. When I was in the third grade, a girl in my class called me a slur. I'm black. So I took her grandma's ring she brought for show and tell out of her desk when no one was looking. I was just trying to scare her, but then I forgot what I did with it. The whole class had to empty our desk and pockets and no one could find it. Well, I found one of those little boxes they gave you, uh, they gave you for when you lost a tooth at school the other day. And guess what was in it? It's uglier than I remembered. Is that not spectacular? Is that not great? I love it. I love it so much. I think that's wonderful. I think that girl deserved it. Listen, I'm not even... I am not even going to say anything mean about this person. 
I sent you a big boy secret. Now I feel bad. I forgot to change the title. It's okay. It is okay, Becky. Um, well, now I want to see if I can find yours. I got it. Hold on. Let me see. Ooh, okay. Dear Mr. B. Okay, so my dad wanted me to be straight growing up, and my mom wanted me to be gay. They're not together. When people would ask her if I had any boyfriends yet when I was a kid, she would go, she would always go, <laughs> she would always go, no, she's going to be a lesbian. So I decided I was bi and somehow disappointed both of them that this was what they wanted. Thank you for taking time out of your busy monster fucking schedule to read my confession. I look forward to your response. Yours sincerely, your boy, Becky. Thank you very much, Becky. I really appreciate it. I The idea that your parents would both project their sexuality onto you is bonkers to me. Listen, Hedys do that all day long. But for your mom to say, no, she's going to be a lesbian is somehow like, honestly, I, this is a double standard. I shouldn't be more surprised by, by the gay pressure than I am by the, the straight pressure. My mom's straight, but she hates men what so it's still pressure from Hetty's. what i can't even unpack all that that is so much no like i would <sighs> that's so much like i both of your parents so your dad's a homophobe and your mom's i don't know hates men which sometimes i can't really begrudge her for but i guess technically that's misandry but whatever you know um that's man well listen becky i'm happy that you're bi i'm happy that you're able to to embrace who you are um i'm sorry that both of your parents felt disappointed by this turn of events even though you you truly have all the world open to you the world is truly your oyster um and i say congratulations on that i do i really do also just <laughs> Anybody calling me Mr. B is so fucking funny to me. Every time. I just find it really delightful. My dad's more accepting now that he has two gay kids. T, you know? You think my mom would have done that given that 75% of her birth children, three out of the four. There's another one who's adopted, but I guess genetically not going to count. Three out of her four birth children are homos. And 50% of her uh uh birth children are trans insane i love it you'd think she would have learned but no one more letter and you could become mr bean it's true um let me see okay i'm gonna go back to this one because i think it's really funny i was hesitant to tell it earlier given the hamster confession but i am in mr b will see you now Listen, I'll admit, I feel hot in this fucking fit. <laughs> y'all are, y'all are, uh, you aren't doing me any fucking favors. What was I thinking? There's something I was going to say. Oh, oh, that was it. Okay. Mr. Beaven, short for Stephen Beaven. Um, I have like a mental list of like how I'll know I've made it, you know? So part of it, um, fan art have gotten that, uh, a subreddit about me have got that very exciting um if i get a sponsorship like if i'm like doing an ad i am i'm like in it i've like done it but then the fourth one is people like taking like pictures i've posted or like or like screen grabs from from my streams and being like oh my god he's so hot like i love like those like candid fucking photos from streams of like wilbur and he's just like brushing his hair and everyone's like oh my god he's so hot. i love that um so just a hint just a hint if you want to hype up my ego <gasps> i love this song hold on hold on very exciting sugar rush at it <laughs> do an ad for gc2b you know honestly i should um just in general i have a complicated relationship with binders since they've never worked for me um but i very much could because i i sing i sing their praises i have given 
I, I've gifted numerous friends GC2B binders um, just because they're very, very stellar. Um, and I never want a trans friend to, to not be able to have a binder if it makes them happy. Okay. I'm going to do this last email confession and then I'll probably sign off. We'll see. So when I was younger, I had a goldfish and I named it Nemo. I had it for about two days and I was always told to flush it down the toilet, but no, no, my dumbass didn't do that. What I didn't said was I thought you could cook goldfish. So what did I do? I cooked my fucking goldfish for my family and they thought it was, I think that's a typo. It says, and they thought it was your name. So they, they eat it. I feel supposed to be sardines. Um, so they ate it until they found out it was Nemo. So what did I do? I cooked my fucking goldfish. They thought it was, oh, okay, boy, this is so illegible. <laughs> I think they like copy pasted a section. So they thought it was sardines and they found out it was Nemo. To this day, I feel bad and I will never forget the look on my mom's face when I told her it was my pet fish Nemo and I will never. Okay, so they're repeating every fucking sentence. I'm gonna shit myself. Um, Cause I thought it would taste like sardines because my parents said they like sardines. So therefore I cooked it. Um, yeah, that's bat shit. <laughs> That's, that's bat shit. I'll, I, I don't want to do the edits and candids because I don't want Shiloh to kill me. <laughs> Understandable, Becky. Have a nice day and thank you for the bits. Um, so I, I don't, would they mind that? I don't know. I think I'm just a narcissist. Um, I don't know. That person is in need of something. Listen, honestly, I don't even know at this point. Cause like they were a child. Also at no point did they mention that it died? Like, I, like, I think, I think they were trying to say that it died and then they flushed it down the toilet, but they never mentioned that. So I, I'm really afraid that they, that they either skipped a step or that the goldfish wasn't dead. Also, how many viewers are there in right now? Streamlabs, every like 30 seconds, it's switching between 88 and 114. So I don't know which it is. How many viewers are there actually? Um, <laughs> fucking Please Becky. Spare bits. 1,000 bits. I adore you, Becky. You know I adore you. 107. Okay, sick. Um, I adore you, Becky, with all of my heart. Please, sir. Any spare bits? Any spare bits? Any spare subs? Any spare subs for a poor orphan boy? I appreciate you endlessly. Um, so, I almost poisoned my family with undercooked salmon. I said to sign off, but not you ignoring my highlight message. Sky, I didn't see it. Cut me some slack. What was your highlighted message? I got a package today and it wasn't my binder. I blame you. Yeah, I bought Sky a binder, but it's not my fucking fault. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. God. Um,. Oh, I need to make him a Bim Bam style podcast. Listen, I love my Bim Bam. And I was thinking today about like how easy it would be for me to do confession booth style, like either YouTube videos or podcast episodes. <gasps> Becky with the gift subs. Thank you so much, my friend. Two tier one subs to the community. They've given a total of 17 in the channel. Becky, I appreciate and adore you to the ends of the earth. Um, damn, Becky popping off as fucking always. I love it. So I think that I'm going to do a Jackbox night with my subs. I think that would be delightful. I think that would be very, very fun. Um, one thing that I love, uh, about Quiplash is that it lets you make your own questions. And I think that would be the funniest fucking thing to get, uh, Sorry, distracted by the chat right now. Uh, to get everyone to like write their own questions and then we all play it together. I think that would be goddamn delightful. I would only be able to pick about 10 at a time. Um, so you would also have to be in the Discord server. So all of my subs, join the Discord server immediately. Immediately. Go join it. And maybe maybe let someone know that you're a, you're a sub. Ping a mod. Let them know you're a sub. I think I'm gonna add a sub role or I'll figure out how to automate it at some point. Um, I'm in Discord under Moose Man. Okay, sick. So, yeah, I'm trying to figure out the easiest way to go about it. 
Um, I will put an announcement in Discord once I figure out exactly how I'm gonna go about that, so I will keep you guys posted. Um, can't decide. <gasps> Cutest underscore Bean has subscribed. Thank you, my friend. Thank you very much. Um, I can only see three channels. That's because you need to get uh, confirmed first, basically. So go ahead and do an intro so the mods can uh, can let you in. Okay, great. So ping Prince Sky. They're a mod, um, and then Sky will make a list. Perfect. I love you. I love you very much. So, I will either do Confession Booth Thursday or that Jackbox Night we're talking about. I may wait to set up the Jackbox Night until next Tuesday. Um, but otherwise, we will probably do Confession Booth again this Thursday. And I think that about covers it. If there is anything you want to submit or you want to see. And we now have a complete list of the Monster Fucker ratings on StevieB.com. Um, under the monster fuckers, uh, uh, page, we have a full list. The only ones that aren't on there are the ones that have been done during hype trains during streams. I'm currently debating whether or not to include them because so many of them just go completely unrated. I just kind of give my thoughts and move on. So tricky. Um, yeah, I'll decide on that later, but there are a lot of people wondering about those. So I'll probably add them eventually. Um, uh, so yeah, stb.com has all the info you need, all the, st all the stuff you want, all the shit you want. Um, and I enjoy you very much. If you are somewhere where it is day, I hope you have a great day. If you're somewhere where it is night, I hope you sleep well. I hope you have a lovely night. Um, please eat, take care of yourself. Definitely, definitely feed yourself. Um, drink some water. Let's all drink some water together. Perfect. Great job. So, I will see you on Thursday. I will probably see you on TikTok. Uh, and I think that about wraps it up. So I hope you have a lovely night. Bye.